Shopping with Hobbymaker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.hobbymaker.co.uk where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your craft room essentials to paper, tools, cutting machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Hobbymaker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Hobbymaker. Alternatively, you can call our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker. Hi everyone, Happy New Year, one and all. Welcome to Hobbymaker, first show of the year. Great to have your company and what a show it's going to be. More on that in a second. But before I uh, introduce you to something that is extremely beautiful and extremely desirable, um, we've got something to do, a bit of housekeeping to do. Yesterday when we were doing the awards, and what a fun show they were yesterday, fun shows all afternoon, um, we were announcing, or we will announce now, the winner of someone's basket. Someone who shopped with us yesterday, who bought some stuff from us, is going to win the quantity or the value of their basket back, okay? And I did promise I'd let you know first thing this afternoon who that winner is, and the winner is... Susan Lupton of West Yorkshire. I don't know what you bought, Susan, but whatever it was, it's free. You'll get that money back. Congratulations. And thank you for shopping with us yesterday. And thank you for tuning in today, the 1st of January. And what a wonderful way to start a brand new year. Not only a brand new launch, but a UK exclusive launch. This has got to be one of the most eagerly awaited products that I think I can remember. We have it here. No one else has it in the UK. And if you find it online anywhere, the chances are they haven't got it in stock yet. Has it got a UK plug in it? Ours has. Is it going to get to you within a week? Yours will. It's in our warehouse waiting to be dispatched to you today. Now, the... Excitement behind this is so great that we have actually dedicated the vast majority of our afternoon, not all of the afternoon, but the vast majority of the afternoon is dedicated to what is about to be revealed. We're live until five today, just between one and five today. Do you want me to show you what it is we've got underneath here? Have a little look at this. Do you like scrapbooking? Do you like journaling? Do you like making your own diaries? Would you like to be able to do that without the need of a punch, but using heat? Welcome to the UK for the very, very first time, the Thermal Cinch from American Crafts and We Are Makers. It is here, it is in stock. We're the only people in the UK that have it at the moment and already loads of you are coming in. Hello, Amanda, hello, Crafter in Staffordshire, <coughs> hello, Sarah in Suffolk, hello, Lindsay in Buckinghamshire. You're all putting it in your basket. It's here, it's now, it's a wonderful way to start 2024 to make all those things that you love journals photo albums sketchbooks planners um, scrapbooks we're not just going to give you the thermal cinch we're going to give you all of this now we have a quantity and I'm, I'm pleased to say it is quite a large quantity available um, we actually had to order a certain number so that the guys at American Crafts could put a UK three pin plug on it so we ordered that quantity. And we wanted to launch this in a blaze of glory. If you want to, in literally a couple of minutes, there's 42 of you now with this in your basket already. We've not even announced the price yet, but 42 of you have <laughs> got it in your basket the already. <laughs> what are you getting in your bundle? Let me show you. Have a little look at this. Now, Sandra in Lincolnshire, you've checked out already. Before we even show you, everyone wants this. The desirability is off the charts. Everyone wants it. A lot of you are thinking, I don't care what it costs, I want it. I want to be able to bind my books, my scrapbooks, my journals, all those things in a couple of minutes effortlessly. This is the way to go. Look at what you've got. All of this is coming included. Take a look. All of what you're about to see is included in the bundle. You're going to get your die cut spines, your floral spines, your retro spines, your neutral spines, your rainbow spines, your spines with labels on them, glue strips, stencil bookmarks and even tassels. We've even thrown in tassels, Carla. You're not allowed to wear them, Dave. Oh, sport, sport. Look at this. Now, if you bought this, 
and paid what you should be paying for all of it, just for the accessories, you should be paying $112.95 just for the accessories, including with the machine today. Not for the actual machine, just the accessories. You can buy extras if you want extra accessories. They are consumables. They're all on the website. But the entire stock of the machine we've got is in this bundle today. Hundreds and hundreds of you are now on the website and putting it in your baskets. You're going to get the Thermal Cinch, brand new from We Are Makers and American Crafts. You're going to get all of these binders as well, 50 spines. So potentially up to 50 books you can make with what we're giving you today in the bundle. And we've got it on split pay, everybody, just to let you know. Whatever that price goes to, you can split it into five interest-free split pays. NTXC59. Now, if you were paying what you should be for all of this, the machine, and all the accessories, it should be £208. We're going to go under 200 I can tell you that. And it's going to be on five-way split pay if you want split pay. Okay? Someone gave you money for Christmas, or you got a Hobby Maker gift card. What about putting it towards this? £179.99. £179.99. And it's on five-way split pay. But can I tell you something? Let me just check. That is not your price. It's going to be lower than that. Well done if you check it out. Everyone pays the final low price. One PMP per day. That's how <coughs> we roll on Hobby Maker. One PMP of three ninety-five. There's a hundred and five of you with this in your basket, and that's not counting all of you that have already checked out. Now this is supposed to be here until five o'clock this afternoon. This is in our warehouse. It's not coming from America. It's come from America. It's come from across the pond. And it's in our warehouse now, ready for dispatch straight away. You'll have this in the next few days. People have checked out already. Linda, Karen, um, Linda, Deborah, Susan in the West Midlands, Margaret, Francis, Marion, Glynis, Mandy, Angela. I knew that this was really, really anticipated and is being looked forward to by many of you. Eagle-eyed customers, eagle-eyed viewers like yourself have been looking at our channel over the last month and have probably seen one of these thermal cinches on our shelf behind our demonstrators. So you've had a glimpse of it. There's always little clues in our studio of things that might be coming up soon. Caroline in the West Midlands has said, <laughs> I've bought mine, I just could not wait any longer. <laughs> Caroline, congratulations, you're gonna pay the final low price even though you've checked out, you're not paying 179.99, no one will. Okay, we've got a clock, let's get that price down to the final price. You'll get all of this for 100 and 49.99 and remember the accessories are worth remind me again 112.96 112.91 is worth of accessories in there the whole thing the whole this is the relationship we've got with american crafts they love us we love them and that's why we can do uk launches and if you see this on our website anywhere else across europe or in america or something like that a they haven't got any stock that we've seen, no one's got any stock at the moment apart from us, and they probably won't have a UK plug in it either. This has been developed for us in the UK. Katie in the West Midlands, first buy of 2024. Happy New Year, everyone. Katie, Happy New Year, congratulations. I'm genuinely over the moon and excited for you, everybody. Karen in the West Midlands, so many messages coming in. Afternoon, Dave, so glad I secured mine, and I am as well, Karen. Happy New Year to you as well. What a wonderful way to start the new year, making your own books and journals and scrapbooks. Lisa in West Yorkshire says, wow, I've been waiting for this. I've checked out and used my discount from the pin badge. Happy New Year. That's it. <laughs> Nicely you, done. If you got the Santa Claus pin badge, it had a discount code on the back that gave you 20% off only in January on one day only. What a day to use that discount code. Mandy in Essex says, got mine, can't wait for it to arrive. Julian Dorset says, Dave, I just had to buy it. Is that my Julie? I think it might be. I think it is. Collector in Lincolnshire says, happy new year to you all. I purchased mine when it was showing at 208 pounds. Will I still get the lower price? Absolutely you will. Every, you, it, I'll let you know. The way we work here is you purchase something in our show at midnight, all the purchases that you've made get collated by our system and you get confirmation emails. So whatever the price goes to, even if you buy it at a higher price at midnight, the system knows it dropped in price and they'll only charge you that price. $149.99. What a bundle, Helen says in Wiltshire. Checked out and used my pin badge discount. Happy New Year. See, we knew that Santa badge was going to be good luck for all of you. Caroline in the West Midlands says, sorry, I was so excited. I forgot to wish you both a very happy New Year. Carol, don't worry. No, we're excited too. Aren't we, Carla Bagshaw? Beyond myself, Beyond I have to my... say. 
I refrained from all New Year celebrations last night so that I could be here to do this today. This is probably in the four years that I've demonstrated for We Are Memory Keepers, this is probably the product I've been the most excited about ever. Genuinely. Oh, well, I said that to you yeah, the yeah. I walked in. I love this product. Now, Katie has got a question. Katie of the West Midlands, hello. Mine didn't show split pay. Is it automatically applied? No, that's not the case. You have to select <laughs> split pay. But if you call the call centre on our free phone number, they'll sort that for you. It's a free phone number. 0800 001 4433. Just say you want split pay. You didn't realise you didn't select it and they will put it on there for you. OK. Now, at the moment, let me, let me tell, I've got to tell you those figures. 120 of you have checked out. There's 150 of these in baskets. That makes... 270 gone. And we're here till five o'clock with this. Get your tap dancing shoes on, Dave. We're going to be doing some performing. <laughs> Please, whatever you do, if it's in your basket, it's not yours, remember, until you check out. The checkout makes sure it's yours. So you can order as many things as you like during the day. Uh, the phone call is free. It's free to order on the website as well. But until you check out, it's not confirmed yours. Someone could get yours out of your basket if you don't check out. That's how ruthless it can be sometimes and how kind of close to the edge it can get. So please, when we're talking of hundreds and hundreds of you ordering at one time, please check your baskets out as quickly as you can. That confirms your order. Okay, now here's a little look at what this machine can do for you before we go over to Carla. Take a look at this. seen Dan sat down on camera too already someone had a hard night last night uh, hopefully you're okay and you're enjoying the show so many of you hundreds and hundreds of you are ordering this and thank you so much for your lovely messages as well right back at you as well we're going to scroll all the messages that we can across the bottom I can't read them all out because we'll never get to show you how it works and how brilliant it is Carla we knew this was going to get a great reaction I didn't expect about 300 people to come in straight away for this no I don't well I don't think any of us expected that but I knew that you would give it a really warm response because it's a tool that we all need and I know we're always going to go with the scrapbooking and that kind of the idea of journals but it's actually a lot more than that it's all your notebooks taken care of for the rest of your life it's notebooks for presents for gifts it's notebooks to sell it's photo albums it's recipe books you name it it's endless because because all we're talking about is binding. Now, we've brought to you before the cinch, we've brought to you before the multi-cinch. That's a different form of binding. What we're talking about with thermal binding is actually professional binding. It's what you'd see in a standard book. So this book that I stole off a shelf in the other room, we'll talk about that later. You can <laughs> see that it is about gemstones. It's called a, Geolo a geologist speculates if everybody wants to read it. You'll see here where it's bound. That, my friends, is thermal binding. That's what you're buying. Okay. Something that creates a professional bound finish. That's that's the crux of it. Can I okay? ask you, is it just one size of book it can make? Or no, 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 no. So it goes up to A4 size. So it's whatever you can fit in its gob. So where it goes there. <laughs> Nicely put. Whatever you can put in, okay? To whichever depth you can go to, to whichever height you can go to. Plus your minis, so you could do tiny things in there as well, so long as you can get it out. So it can't be so tiny that it slips down there. As Think of a toaster. If your piece of bread is too small for your toaster, it's going to disappear and it's going to be a pain to get out. You're not going to do that with it. Now, very quick, brief look at the machine and then I'm going to go straight into demo. We're going to make a notebook in the space of about three minutes. So where your machine is, you've got a wee button at the top here, right? Just there. Can you see it? Yep. 
that's your timer. Now I've got mine plugged in. I've got two on the go here so that I can do plenty of demos for you. So this here is your timer. So as soon as your box ready and you pop it into the, let's call it a toaster, as soon as you put it in there, you're going to press your button to time it. It's going to time it for two minutes and your book's going to be ready. It could not be more simple. It's got a, a wired in to the machine plug, so you're never going to lose it. It's not one of those jobbies. It's just always in there. Let's plug it in and out and a little on and off switch. Now, the important part are two pieces. That cover, a dust cover, okay? Mm -hmm. Very pretty, thank you very much. It's actually not a dust cover. You pull it back, it seats like so, and when we're actually cooling down the projects, because they've got a cool, it's your cool down tray. It keeps it where it's supposed to be. Now, more importantly than that is the inside. You'll see on the inside, there's these two little pincers. These two, it's in the, uh, we are colors. So you see what I mean? It's two little pieces. They open up and we're going to push our book through that and it's going to seat the, the glue on the hot strip at the bottom. But that pincer movement on the inside are going to keep your pages together. Hello. In 12 minutes, 180 have gone. <laughs> I had to do that, sorry. I think it's going to sell out. I mean, unsurprisingly, because it's the most amazing machine. Let's get to demo. Well, first of all, the other side of things is I'll show you one that I made because I'm actually using one that I made. So this is made from it with the, with the wee fox. Oh, That's one of the journals I made. Now, just to show you, I, without showing you all my weird random shopping lists, I printed out my own pages. So this is so that I've got everything I need for shows. So I've got all my demo stuff. I made cute little tables for it so I know exactly what I'm doing and when I'm doing. And at the front, I just printed out dotted note paper, A up. So I've got it as a notebook as well. I bound both of those together in exactly the size I wanted. So it's perfect for my journal cover. And that is me sorted. Does it stop at that point? No, we can do so much more. And one of the things I'll get to you in a little while, wooden books. So we can do a ton of stuff, shaped books. So this is not your standard kind of rectangular. We can do all kinds of things. So I'm gonna get into that with you in a little while. But first of all, let's look at demo. What you're gonna need, you're gonna need two cover pieces. This is the easiest way to make it. Two cover pieces, that's your first bit. I'm gonna use one of the We Are Memory Keeper spines. And they're really simple. They've got uh, two sort of score lines going across the bottom. Those score lines match the height of that strip of glue that goes across the inside. On there as well, you'll see that I've got some double-sided sticky, the white bit here. Okay, that's going to help me position everything. So, and you where get I've six got that. Packs of six spines, that's 30. Yes. Plus, you get a further three with the machine as well that you normally get as standard. You get a ton. You can make loads. Yeah. So, what I can do here is lay this right to that point there. Okay, so I've got it where I need it. I can just lay that at the bottom. All right, can you see? Yeah. So they would line up and that's what I'm gonna do first. But the first thing I always like to do is where these are, I like to just get my score line going. This is going to be the width of my book. Now your We Are Spines are all the same size. So these are for your standard note sizes. Don't throw away the bit that we cut off because you can use that for a little mini book and they're cute as a button. So you can get more lovely than one, one spine. More, more than one, one book out of one spine. Oh yeah, totally. Right. Because it depends what size your book yeah, yeah. is. Makes so sense. yeah, you've got loads of different ways to do it. The other thing is get your dies out because where these have got little die cut edges, when you start making your own spines, think of all of the options you're now going to have. You can create loads of little spines for yourself as well. We like them apples. Right, so then I'm going to take this, I'm going to edge it out and I'm very roughly going to cut. Now you guys need to do this much neater at home, but hey, where's my glasses, Dave? Oh, Dave, did you say I come? Don't bother mine. No, I'll be blind with yours on, Dave. <laughs> Um, now, the cutter piece scissors, by the way, they're from American Crafts as well. They're in the show, too, if you want those. So, where I've got this, the easiest way I find it, you'll find your own little way. But where this is, I'm just going to pull this away. She says, I should have brought my debris thing. Right, I'm going to put that towards that little spine line here, where I've just creased it, place it in, and I'm just lining mine up. Take the time and wear your glasses if you need them. Okay, that's one done. To the side. Where are your glasses? Oh, they'll be somewhere, Dave. I'll have put them down. I had them on at some point. You left them in the loo? It's possible. Okay. Could be on a, on a dog somewhere, in my car. We are so similar, you and me. So, now, look at that. Oh, beautiful. I've now got the spine for my book. 
it's ready for the pages to go inside. So now I fold that over so my spine's ready and I'm just going to take the right amount of pieces of paper. Does it matter what paper you use? Or? It's whatever you want it to be. You can use colour papers, you can use cardstock, you can use whatever. Now it's important that we get this bit sort of right. Now I've got these all as A5 because that was the easiest for me. So I'm just going to shuffle these in. Now have I got an overhead? I have got an overhead haven't I? Yep. Can you squeeze in on the overhead? Just We're from the pain. Can you, it's this point I want to look at. See here? Mm -hmm. Now, if I, stay with me, if I overfill this, just bear with. If I overfill, can you see how my spine's not reaching? Yeah. I've got this gap. That's going to cause me problems because it's going, it's going to stop the glue from dispersing equally. I need to make sure it's about right. Now, the other problem I've got is if I underfill it, I'm going to have a whacking great big gap in the spine then. That's right. going to cause me problems as well. So <laughs> it doesn't have to be precise, but I, just try not to over or under. Did you see Karen's message? No. She said, I don't need this, I don't need this, I don't need this. Oops, I bought it. I'll be totally honest. <laughs> it's not often I'll say this. This is a tool I think everyone needs. Yeah. Well, we all need it's, books, notebooks, even if you're not a scrapbooker or a journaler. It's just super handy. Right. I gotta tell you, Bulldog Clips, best friend, because they do just help keep everything in place. You do get one little Bulldog Clip in the box as well. You do, yeah. tamp it down, all right? Just yeah. make sure your pages are straight. I'm a little dubious as to whether I need a couple more pages in that, but I'm gonna just ride with it. So we're making sure that your side pieces here are sticking with that piece of glue, and then we are just gonna Bulldog Clip that together and we're done. That's the most complex part about the whole thing. Now, if we can stay on overhead for a second so I can show you the manoeuvring of this. Let me just update everyone where we are. Half the stock that we have available ah! for today has gone, and that's not including the hundred and something people that are actually in the ordering process. There's 164 people putting it in their baskets right now. I know it's <laughs> tempting to just sit and watch the demo, but if you don't get your order and check your basket out quickly, I don't want you to miss out on this. Can you see how on the overhead that gives just ever so slightly? Can you see those moving? Yeah. That's what I'm doing with my book. I need to do that. Can I also tell you at home, do not put your hands in the machine. I'm just demonstrating it for you. Uh, I'm not so worried about my paws. I am worried about yours. So once I've got that sitting there, I can press the button on the front and that's just gonna A up, she says. I think I've over, no, we've got them plugged in. Why is that turned off? Jimmy. Anyway, mine's hot anyway. So I'm not worried about it because it's gonna heat. Basically you press that and it goes for two minutes. I think it's got an auto shut off because it's a heat concentrated thing. Makes that sense. it will shut yeah. off after so long if you haven't used it. Um, and I know that in the UK, they have to have a safety policy on things that are hot that they turn off after so long. So that is possibly where we've got there. It's flashing, so it's going. I'm not worried about it, it's been on all morning. But once that's finished doing what it's doing, it's gonna beep at you. And when it beeps at you, all of that glue has melted. Now there's an issue you at that point because once that glue has melted you've got to let it dry the excitement that I had when I first got this home and I took it out and I opened it straight away because I'd heated it and my pages fell out because so the glue was wet. still wet yeah so you can't do that you've got to, you've got to have that thing called patience that some people have in bookers and I have none of. And so that, that's the only thing, is just make sure you've given yourself the time to let it cool. And so the guidelines on it is two minutes for heating, five minutes for cooling. Do I wait five minutes? No. Should you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you're I don't about like your... waiting. <laughs> waiting is not fun for me. Now, while that is sorting itself out and it's heating, I want to just talk to you very briefly, if it's okay, yeah. and just talk to you about what we can bind and what we shouldn't bind, etc., etc. It's a heated element. So, of course, you are working within certain boundaries. Um, now, thermal binding, as a rule, is not... How do I phrase this correctly? Without leading you down the garden path. It's not quintessentially for hardback books. It is, but if you want to do that, you really need what's called a crimping machine as well. Now, what I mean by that is this. So let me explain it. And then I stole all of the books, like I say. That's thermal binding. We saw that, okay. Let me show you the spine section there. That is thermally bound. Yep. So is that, right. and that's a hardback. That's thermal binding as well. Now. Can you see where this pincers in? It's got that funny little triangle shape mm -hmm. and it's got a crease right down the front of it. 
that's done by a crimping machine. That pinches those pieces together, and that's because that's a hardback. This doesn't need it. Right. So, then we come to the thing of, do I like being told what I can and can't do? No. <laughs> so did I sit and try and work out ways around it? Yes. Did I find one kind of? Does it need finessing? Yes. So I will be very, very honest with you about that. It's designed for softback books. Of course it is. But there's a million things we can do with anything we are memory keeper and I will not be told no. So I did manage to sit last night and create this one out of wood. And I did manage to make it look super cute on the inside as well. But it gets messy after that. So I'll be honest with you. I still need to refine the other bits. But yeah, of course it can be done. And I'm going to go through the stages of how to put that together as well. So you've got some knowledge of the hardbacks, but I'm not telling you that that's what you're supposed to do with it. I heard it beep. Yeah, I know. It's because it was telling me it was turning on at that point. OK. So is it done? I don't know, because it went off and then it came back on again. So I'm just going to yak her and then... Okay. Let me have a look. Go on, cat well, masking. Let me just remind you, um, if you're having trouble with split pay, just call the call center. It's a free phone number and they'll sort that for you, okay? Some of, the, some of you are having trouble with split pay, some of you aren't. So 0800 001 4433, the call center will process your order and sort split pay for you as well. A massive thank you to all of you for ordering. A massive thank you even more for your messages saying Happy New Year. I'm so pleased that you're so pleased about this. We wanted to start our first show of 2024 with something very, very special. This has been in the offing for the last, what, couple of months or more. Um, we've been waiting to get it over. The stock is here. It's in our warehouse next to our studio. It will be shipped as soon as you place your order. You'll get it in the next few days. Can I quickly show you what you're getting? Because I went through the list of exactly what you get in the box. Now, this is something over and above. If you buy the thermal cinch normally when it's available elsewhere, which it's not at the moment, um, you will get three binders in the pack to get you started. And you'll get that in the box. But us being hobby maker and us having the brilliant relationship with um, uh, American Crafts and with Liam being the demanding soul that he is, he uh, actually got this deal together for you. We've got all these extras that are actually worth over hundred pounds in their own right. And we have them available individually to purchase in the show as well. But these are coming with the machine, okay? So you've got six of your neutrals. Dave, got, can I, sorry, can I course. just very quickly show you this? Because otherwise I won't be able to show you this bit of the demo. Right. And then we'll go back. Is that fine? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's finished melting. You can see the melted glue. So once that's finished mel uh, melting, can you see it? I've got my hand the wrong way. There. You yep. can see it all down there. That's finished. You then need to tamp it. So you can undo the bulldog clips. I'm so sorry to interrupt, right, Dave, right. but I need to show, otherwise it'd be too late for me to show you. So you're just going to make sure that's all pressed down. That glue's still lovely and melty and warm. And you're going to tamp it. Okay, once you've got that tamped and done, put your bulldog clip back in place so it's all held together and put it in the cooling rack at the back. And leave that there for a few minutes. And just leave it for five minutes and then that'll be ready. Sorry, Dave, very rude no problem. Of me. No Sorry. Problem. Okay, so in the box, you're going to get all these extras. You get six of your naturals, okay? So there's all those colours you can see down the bottom, including the packet. So you've got your camels and your whites and your browns. You're going to get six of the ones that have got the little labels on. Like it says, this book belongs to. You get all those colourways as well, six of those. <laughs> you're going to get six in in your rainbow so you've got a lovely pink a lilac a golden color a green and a blue in there as well and again all of these can be trimmed to size no matter what size uh, a4 and beneath your book or your notebook may be you can trim them and get more than one book out of each spine if you want to this one is called your floral so you get six of your florals in those colors down there you get six of your retro which is beautiful patterns. They're really up my street. You get all of those patterns you can see down there. And then finally, in the, uh, in the spines, you get six of your die cuts. So you've got zigzag, you've got scalloped, and you've got a fancy edge on those as well. So those are all your spines you're going to get. Then you're going to get a pack of 12 glue strips. Again, they can be trimmed to whatever size your book or notebook is going to be. You then, this is where it gets really fun. You get the um, fantastic tassel bookmarks. So you can actually have a bookmark attached to your notebook as well. And then these are brilliant. If you're making journals, then these are journal templates. So you've got various symbols like little love hearts. You've got banners and uh, pennants in there as well. Uh, so that can be attached to your uh, book as well. And that can be used for your journals and your, uh, your bullet journals, all that sort of thing as well. All of that is included in the box for 149 dollars 
Now, you can get them all on their own. If you go to the website, if you have a little look at our website, which is hobbymaker.co.uk, click Watch Live or go to the app and tap, uh, and then you'll see all of the accessories that are available. And we're doing a deal on those as well. Uh, the spines, for example, uh, they should be normally $12.99. At the moment, as an introductory offer, the spines are only $8.99. If you want extra tassels, for example, which I would, uh, $4.99 down from $9.99 as an introductory offer as well. So if you've got your machine and you're thinking, well, as the stock's there, as it's there, and I know I want to do lots and lots and lots of different projects, the extras are there. And we've got a lot more of these extras as well. So we could keep you stocked up and replenished. They're all there, but those are the prices that they should be. You will all pay the final low price. So if it says $12.99 for your spines, it will be $8.99 that you'll be charged. All of your orders will get collated at midnight. You'll get a confirmation email overnight <laughs> showing what you've bought. And loads of you are shopping ahead of us and uh, putting extras in your basket as well. Uh, if you do want extra glue strips, then they're there as well. Now, Linda in Essex says, uh, I have a bad memory, you and me both, uh, <laughs> due to having a stroke. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there instructions to follow? Happy New Year all. Absolutely, Linda, there are instructions in the box as well. Little pamphlet. Can I also box. say that pretty much everything with We Are Memory Keeper, she says, there's usually a QR code. There is QR code as well on the back of the box, Linda. Yeah. So just put the, ca the camera on your phone onto the QR code and it will come up with a little website. Click that and it will take you to the instructions for that machine. So not only can you get the written instructions if you find that easier, but also there's the visual instructions from We Are themselves as well. Now, Mary says in Greater London, hi, Carla and Dave, happy new year. Approximately, approximately how many sheets can be thermally bound? Now, they say between 30 and 50, but it depends how thick your sheets are, I suppose. Yeah, it, it depends on, on how, basically, as I say, it depends on, on what, the gob can take of the machine if yeah. you're from Yorkshire. So basically, no thicker than that. Right. Um, now, if I'm using, say, 100 GSM, if I was to use printer paper at 80 GSM, I can get a lot more than if I was using cardstock. Um, so my, I'd say probably about half an inch, three quarters of an inch, something like that. No, it'd be bigger than half an inch. Probably about three quarters of an inch to an inch. We'll play during the it, show. It, Listen, we're here for four hours. Let's find out. It's kind of how long's a piece of string with that, really, isn't it? Yeah, well, it does depend what paper you're using, and it, and then also like how thick your covers are, what those covers are going to be. So if you know you're going to use something like I use uh, wood, base wood for the one with the dog kennel. Obviously, my covers are taking up a large portion of my heated element. Yeah. So, you know, it depends what you're doing, really. So we'll have a look through. Listen, we'll do some experiments and do the show. Keep your questions coming in. Okay. We'll experiment. Can I just give you an update? Um, some of you are going for more than one. OK. Um, one of you's gone for three. I think sh uh, Susan in Essex has gone for two. Maybe you're going to get a little production line going. Maybe you're going to be producing notebooks, diaries, um, journals, bullet journals, that sort of thing. I mean, this is a really exciting day for us. Probably the most exciting day after our launch day, because this has been one of the most eagerly awaited machines. Christine says, totally blown away by this deal. Outstanding. So excited. Used my discount code from the badge. Forgot to press redeem. Phone call centre. Sort it out. Yeah, they'll sort anything out for you. Any problems at all. If you can't get split pay activated for whatever reason, uh, just call the call centre. Uh, if you have purchased it and you wanted split pay and you didn't ask for it or whatever, just call the call centre 0800 001 4433. And that's also, if you're a brand new viewer and you've never ever bought anything from Hobby Maker before and this is your first purchase, just give the call centre a call. They'll set an account up for you. Split pay is there for you as well, even if we've never actually kind of dealt with you in, uh, before in the, in the past. Doesn't matter. Split pay is there for everyone and it's not an outside finance company that does that we do it as a business so we just say give us the first 20 percent of the purchase price today and then we'll ship it to you straight away the next payment comes off your card automatically in four weeks eight weeks 12 weeks and so on so that's the way it works with split pay where are we with the stock well over half of our big, big stock has gone. And we've still got <laughs> over 180 of you with it in your basket right now. For those of you that have got it in your basket, I've got to stress, if you don't check out quickly, you may lose out because the stock is going far quicker than we anticipated. We thought we'd have enough to last us four hours. That's why we dedicated a whole afternoon no, noon to this. We are doing other things. We are going to bring in you know, the crocodile. <laughs> we are going to bring in the American Crafts card stock. We are going to bring in some other wonderful products from American Crafts as well. But the way this is going at the moment, this is not probably going to make it much past probably three o'clock this afternoon. We're live. 
at, uh, what, 1.36. So if you've got any questions at all, will it do this, will it do that? Can I do this with it? Can I do that with it? Just basically send a message via our website, which is hobbymaker.co.uk. It says contact the studio, type a little message there, which is what everyone else has been doing. It's free, it goes through to Kat, our producer in the gallery. She'll then put it on the screen. I'll then ask Carla if I don't know the answer myself, and we can all kind of get interactive together, which is fantastic. This is a brand new launch. Now, it is an exclusive launch for us at Hobby Maker, and that's what we're so proud of. American Crafts is one of the biggest craft suppliers and manufacturers in the world. And because of that, we are so pleased and so proud that we can have a product as desirable as this exclusively for our customers and for our viewers at Hobby Maker. Um, if you see this advertised on any website, European, American, whatever, um, none of them have got any stock. As they, far as I'm aware, it's, uh, uh, the USA haven't actually released it in no, the US. We've got I it first. the only country that has it, and I don't think they've actually released it, is Brazil. Okay. Uh, but we actually, you know, are launching it. But I think they have got some in Brazil. But the US, as far as I know, they haven't released it in the States. But, I'll show you. Look, it's done. But please, way, just, please beware that this is a UK specific machine. So it's built to UK standards with the UK plug on it. So don't be fooled by other places that may not have a three pin plug. It's not available anywhere apart from here at the moment. And there is your bound book, everybody. Five minutes after it came out of the Just machine. Just to show you that it's all held together, that I'm not pinching it in any place. It's all done. And I have got this beautiful little notebook. I'm gonna interfere. Dave loves it when I, when I interrupt him and interfere. So can I come to you as a crafter as opposed to a demonstrator, um, uh, which Hobby Maker hates it when I do this. <laughs> I don't care. I just heard the phone going and Liam is either still on the phone or he's gone. So I'm not worried. He's occupied. I don't need to worry about it. Customers at home as opposed to Hobby Maker people. When you're making these, your consumables are your spines. They're yeah. the thing that you're going to replace. Do you need to keep replacing the spines? Sorry, hobby maker. What you do need are your glue strips. Yeah. So while you're there, that's the consumable you're going to go through because you're going to be able to make your own spines with your own craft products. And we have got the glue Sorry, spines available as well. Um, and we've got extra spines available too. Uh, all on the website right now, it, it w wasn't available to be purchased. None of this was available to be purchased until one o'clock. We deliberately held the stock back because we thought actually the stock may even go before we get to air with it. So it's only from one o'clock this afternoon that you've been able to buy it in the UK. It is the new thermal cinch from American Crafts and We Are Makers, NTXC59. That's a combination of letters and numbers that we have here at Hobby Maker. That will get you the first opportunity to get the cinch. So many messages coming in. So many of you are buying one for yourself, maybe one for the grandchildren. We had a message a few minutes ago that said that from Karen. So Karen, congratulations. And it's so easy to use. And remember, the consumables that you're getting, the extra spines, the glue, the tassels and everything else, that at full price is £112.91's worth of value. The whole thing is only £149.99. So the deal we've got for you is absolutely incredible. You're not going to run out of spines anytime soon but only you know how many books you want to make, whether you're making them to sell. I mean, this is the one that clinched it. When Liam, that. Scott and Andy went over to um, Utah, wasn't it? Yeah. Where American Crafts are based. Um, he made this, Liam actually made this book in their headquarters in the Thermal Cinch. Now, without being rude, Liam, I mean, if you can make it, anyone can make it, can't they? Yeah, it's, if you can use a toaster at home, you can make journals with this machine. It's no different than using a toaster. In fact, it's less complicated because with a toaster, you've got to turn the dial for the amount of minutes that you want to toast your bread for. With this, you don't. You no. just put it in and it melts the glue for you. But it's everything else, the way it works, and it's how clever it is. And also go and have a look at thermal binding machines because you'll find this is incredibly good value because they're normally very, very expensive. Julian Conway. Hello, Julie. Very good afternoon to you. She says, sorry if it's a silly question. Don't be, don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. sorry. Uh, I've just bought this. Woohoo! What paper can be used? Are paper packs sold specifically from Julian Wales? No, not for this. So as far as paper's concerned, that's a two, it's a two-prong question with a two-prong answer. The first one is, what paper do you want to use for your covers? So that's going to really be a cardstock. Now, I've been using this cardstock, which isn't particularly heavyweight. I would guess it's maybe a 300. But what I do, I'll be honest, when I'm making them myself, I like to glue two together because I like it to just be a little bit more stable. So I tend to do that. 
Um, so that's fine. As for the paper that you put inside them, it depends what you want that to be. One thing that I found, if you don't want to print your own stuff, and I get that, like I, I quite like sitting and making journal pages and stuff on the computer. If that's not your bag, if you go on to the Zon and put in dotted notepads, my, my advice is buy some A4 ones and chop it in half. It's worth the time. If you've got a guillotine, just chop it in half and make your A5 notebooks. But if it's dotted, it doesn't matter whether it's up or down. Obviously, if you buy lined and then it's A5, you're going to have your stripes the wrong way around. So for me, that would be my solution. If not, just go and get loads of plain paper. But the other side is... Well, if you want to make sketchbooks, get yourself some watercolour paper and chop mm, that. Mm. You know, so you're making your own sketchbooks going forward. And I know a lot of people start doing a sketch a day in January or a watercolour a day and they do a 365, uh, you know, journey. Make your own little set. Make a beautiful set of little sketchbooks. Do you know, do you know? know what I was, I was watching um, BBC Breakfast News this morning and they were interviewing um, a doctor. Uh, that are coming to talk about New Year's resolutions. How yeah. many people kind of stick to their New Year's resolutions? And he said that about 80% of people don't stick to them at all. No. They go out the window by the end of January. And he said the easiest thing to change, change the way you live your life and change the way you look at what you do on a daily basis is to keep a record of it in a journal. I thought, yeah. hey, there you go. spot on. Make your it own makes... journal, jot down your thoughts, jot down what you've done that day, what you could do better the next day. Yeah or whatever. It makes perfect sense, yeah, doesn't it? Because you log, it's more about keeping a log, isn't it? And you know, you see that progression. But I think with art or with craft, that's something that's a really lovely thing to do. Making little fabric swatches out of these as well would be beautiful things if you're doing soft projects for craft as well. To be able to book bind those would be really lovely. Make a load of envelopes. We've all got the, the envelope punch on uh, We Are. It's one of the best tools as well. Make a load of envelopes and make a really beautiful notebook out of envelopes that you can tuck little things in and out of to make beautiful scrapbooks. There's a million ways to play. Could you put Pretty. American Crafts card stock as pages in the book if you wanted yeah. to? Yeah, I've just done it. Oh, okay. Where's, where's that was American my... Craft Castor. I'm just thinking also if you've got Paper Dynamics, Look. some of the deals recently from Keith. Yeah, cut those up. Put those as leaves in the book. Little die cut of a heart on the front. Little The rest of that spine that we just used. And that's all American Craft Cardstock in there. And we got that in this show as How well. How cute is that? That's really sweet. Yeah. I mean, it's two second job. So that's just my offcuts from what I was cutting out. I brought all my offcuts with me because I can make little notebooks for them. Do you know what? Even for little kids. And if you're a teacher, to be able to use your offcuts to make your little kids some notebooks for Easter presents, birthday presents, Christmas presents. How sweet is that? And I did say to the guys here after doing this show, because I'm on for four hours, I was like, you all know what you're getting for Christmas next year. I'm going to have 60 billion notebooks. Uh, yeah, and of course you can sell what you make as well if you want to. Now, Gwen from Creative Expressions. Hello, Gwen. Uh, she's Happy New Year, Carla, Dave, and all the Hobby Maker team, and to you, my love. Uh, I've been itching to see this hey. new thermal cinch and cannot wait to get mine. Have a fabulous day. Gwen, lots of love. Thank See you soon. Love, Gwen. It's on its way. Uh, and I, do you know what? I'm, I'm really, really delighted to see how many of you have actually gone for two. I'll give you some name checks in a second. Living Greater London says, I had to get this. So excited. My New Year present, January, is always boring. Not oh. anymore. I agree with you, actually, Lynn. Not my favourite one. If you took, five, let's say, ten, let's, go, let's be generous. If you took 10 minutes out of your day, every day in January going forward, you would have made 30 notebooks, 31 notebooks, whichever way you look at it, and that is a business. Yeah, Set is. yourself up on Essie. You've just made a business. Carol in Greater Manchester. Hi, Carol. Happy New Year, Carla and Dave, and you and the rest of the crew. What a fantastic deal. Just ordered and used a pin discount code as Fabulous. well. Fabulous. I mean, uh, well, if you've got that, fantastic. We did try and kind of tempt you to getting that knowing that this was coming around the corner. Uh, but if you haven't got that, that doesn't matter. The deal is still absolutely exceptional. And we've got it on maximum split pay, five split pays. What does that mean? It means 0% interest, OK? 0% interest, $29.99 you pay today. That's all we need from you, plus your PMP of $3.95. If you want to actually take advantage of the fact we've got the extra spines available, we've got the extra glues available as well. I'll tell you what, we'll take a little short break, which is the ideal time to check your baskets out, because that and only that then confirms your order. If you don't check, if, it, if it's sat there for maybe an hour or an hour and a half, have we got more people want this? Then we actually have stock. <laughs> You are joking me. More people have got this in their basket than we actually have stock. So you've got to check your basket out now. We've got minus 17 if everybody checks their basket out. So it's a case of who checks out first. Can I make a call, Dave? If that's the case and it sells out, 
we, whether these lots say I can or I can't, I'm still going to demo some stuff on this because, you, no, I won't go home just yet. <coughs> Although there is, Greg's is open, guys. <laughs> um, no, I'm still going to demo some stuff on it because you need to know how to make your own spines. And so I, can I make that call? Oh, uh, yeah. That's not it. fair otherwise. Okay, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Okay, well, while you're checking your basket out, take a little look at this and we'll be out with some extras in a few secs. <laughs> Here at Hobby Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and checkout and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the combine order button. Shopping made easy at Hobby Maker. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Wow, that's all I can say. Um, we, we had a feeling that we could probably sell this out by five o'clock. This is heading towards being the busiest show in Hobby Makers history. And we've had some busy, big shows. We've had some Sarah Davis days that have been absolutely huge and incredible. This could be the busiest day we've ever, ever had. It's the most talked about machine. Even, you know, like Gwen, for example, professional crafters in the business have been waiting for this. She couldn't buy it until today. Even though she works here with us, she couldn't buy it until today. No one could. From one o'clock, it's been available and we are the only place you can buy it in the UK. And if you see it on websites for foreign companies, like in Europe or wherever, um, most of them that we've seen are out of stock or not in stock yet. Uh, I think in Brazil they may have got some, but that's not a UK pin plug. And they're out of stock there as well. In actual fact, I've just been told they've just, just checked on that website. So the only place you can get it is here. This has been manufactured exclusively for us at Hobby Maker with all the UK and uh, UK specification that's needed. So you can buy with confidence. It's that unique relationship that we've got with uh, American Crafts and, of course, us at Hobby Maker that makes this possible. It's so exciting. Now, if you want more glue strips, because that, as Carla quite rightly said, is your consumable, you'll get through those, because obviously that is what's holding all your pages in. Now, we've got over half the stock of this is gone, and we had hundreds what? of these, because we knew lots of you They're were They're the extras. ones to get, yeah. please, please, please. Honestly, crafter to crafter, take me out of the studio, take me away. That they're the ones to get your extras from because we oh can make word. so many of your own with these. Uh, so we can put them together to, be able to make big books. We can cut them down to make small. That's your absolute consumable. They'll try and tell you to buy the spines. I'm going to tell you to get the glue sticks. Get both. Do you want to see how many people are coming through? Can we get a shot of that, Dan? Are we able to do that? Get a shot of Oh, it's hot up there. Right, OK. Oh, our overhead's got it. This is... This is, <laughs> is that the glue strips? Yeah. But the number of people that are ordering goes right off our screen. Uh, many of you are going for two, many of you are going for three. Jane in Cornwall's going for three. Lynn in Essex is going for three. Now they're 14 99 but are they? No, not today. Well done. Don't worry, you've all checked out at 14 99 It will not be 14 99 You're going to get 12 glue strips in a pack, okay? And this is the price we're charging you today as a launch exclusive. 9 99 We're taking get more. five pounds off that as well. Get more! They're the ones. I know, they, I know that I'm going to get into so much trouble because I'm obviously supposed to sell you the whole lot. And we'll go through all the spines. They're beautiful. Of course they're beautiful. Get your glue strips because you can't just use any standard glue. So these are the things to have. I'm sorry to Harvey Maker, not sorry whatsoever to the crafters. You, Grab your a lot sticks. of you are going for multiples, at least two. Some of you are going for three as well. They should be $14.99. They're $9.99 today. You are going to be using these, so it makes sense to get them while they're here. DG4645. DG4645. Now, what was that, Pat? Oh, mm. we have questions. Can you put two glue strips next to each other to make a bigger book? All right, good question. Aye. Right, you're all going to have to excuse us. <laughs> I did think this morning, Carla, you should probably clean your scoreboard before you take that on air. But you know what? <clears throat> it is what it is, right? It, oh, look, it's half of Miss Phyllis there. Right, so my scoreboard, my dirty, loved, very beautiful scoreboard. If you want to make your own book cover, you've got to work out your measurements. And it's not difficult to do. And I'm going to show you an extra tip and trick, which I love to do, because I think it makes a better finish on your book. 
not necessarily recommended, but I think it makes a better finish. So, if I was to make my own spine, now your spine, how long is a piece of string? Do you want your spine to be a whole book cover? As in, it covers the front of your book, the side of your book, and the back of your book. Or do you want to make a spine in the same way that we are selling them where it's a strip and it goes across? It's up to you, that doesn't matter. That point isn't the issue. If I want my book to be say let's say uh, uh, this is six inches so if I'm going to use my spine to be six inches I'm going to need a score line at about three inches okay that's going to give me a folding point now because of that I need to know how wide I want my book do I want my book to be half an inch wide if that's my center point I'm going to have to work out what half an inch would be so it would be three quarters there and it would be just the extra there so that's going to be the width of my book all right we're going to do a half inch book so that is my half inch i've got my two score lines that's where my glue strips are going to go but then an extra little tip because it makes life easier i'm going to need to glue this to the front of my book okay one way or another if you want to make your covers so they're a little more flexible, I always add in an extra, maybe a half inch, maybe a quarter. You're just going to have to work it out, whichever is easiest for you. Paul, but an oh, extra can, score line. Can I pause you just for a second? Mm. We've got 25 machines left. Oh, glue strips. 25 glue strips left. And how many? And 210 in baskets. Eek. So there's going to be about 185 that are going to miss out. We'll try and get more in. Obviously, we will get more in, obviously. But you've got to get it out, checked out as soon as you possibly can. Sorry. You won't regret buying the extras. You'll kick yourself if you haven't. Right. So I've put in. So I've got. Can you see these score lines at all? So that's my glue strip. And now I've got an extra little piece here. And you can see my extra fold line. Nobody has told me to do that. It's, I've, I've, as I've been playing with it, I've worked it out. Actually, I get a neater finish when I do that myself. So what I've got, if I remove this, I'm just going to fold this in. Now, the other thing to remember, and this is a problem on mine. It may be a problem on yours as well. You're going to need to find cardstock that creases well because this my, the cardstock that I'm using here, which I just used a bundle of stuff that I had at home, isn't a C on this one, and it's got a white core, so when I crease it, the white core comes through, it doesn't look its best. I'm not worried about it for the sake of demo, because obviously I'm just making quick notebooks, but you might be at home. What I found is when that's the case, very softly score. Don't push with your scoring tool, and when you bend, very, very gently persuade it. Don't try and push, and that stops it cracking quite as much. That's the spine of my book cover. That's the piece that's gonna sit on the front of my book cover. And then where I've got this, I just very gently fold it back on itself just a little bit, just to get that where it needs to be, okay? So I've now got, can you see this? If I do it this way on the overhead, I don't know if you'll be able to see, I've got that shape. Yeah. So my book's gonna go in here. I'm gonna put some adhesive here as well. So it's gonna to stick to the front of my book and the back of my book, but that's where I need my glue strips to go. So let's talk glue strips, because this is the thing I've been trying to persuade you all to buy, because this is the thing you're going to consumably use. Now, well done if you got your glue strips. They've now technically sold out, so congratulations. Don't forget, we do still have the spines, and you do get a glue strip actually attached in the middle. So the spines are kind of self-contained. So if you are desperate to get more spines, they're available in packs of six on the website as well. And they're at an introductory price as well. We'll come to those in a sec. Now, if I put this into, I put, you know, whether I started that score and I put it into the center of my two score lines, you can see I've got a gap on either side. Now I can hope and pray that that glue is gonna melt enough to spread the whole of that, but I can almost guarantee it won't. I'm going to need to have extra adhesive. So what I'm going to do is just measure it out roughly to the length of it, which is about to there. Chop that down. And I'm going to do the same on another piece. I'll just measure them against each other so that they're about the same size. So I'm going to measure to there and to there. Chop it down. And now I've got these that are the same size and I'm gonna lay them next to each other. Now, what I did last night, one of the spines that I made actually wasn't thick enough for two, but it was too big for one. So with a steel ruler, I just laid that flat on a glass cutting mat and I used a craft knife and just cut it in half. So I actually was getting more and more and more out of each glue strip uh, and it depends how you do it. Each glue strip, hold on. Well, you found them. Yeah. They were we won't talk about it. Each glue strip has got an adhesive backing, okay? So if I just pull this, 
if you've got fingernails at home, it's going to help you enormously. I should have brought my little doofy tool in. So can you see? Just yeah. pulls, right? So all I'm going to do, lay that against that, that first score line that I made. hope I've got that in the right place, which I have not. Just very gently lay down. Lay down again. And there. So that's my first one in. And I'm just going to double that up on the other side. And that's going to give me all of the width that I need. Now, let me make sure I'm lining. Do you know, I worry about myself sometimes. I worry about you all the time. <laughs> I sometimes look at my children and wonder and go, wow, 17 years I've kept you going. <laughs> <laughs> can barely get myself they probably going. They that about you. No, they do. Abraham often says to me, you've had a lucky break with us, Mum. I'm like, I know, <laughs> children, I know. Right, so then I've got now red liner tape. You can use finger lift tape. It doesn't matter which you use. Thicker makes it easier, but it really doesn't matter. Now, what I'm going to do here is just chuck some of this along that bottom spine. Um, and this is obviously going to stick to my front cover. If I was doing this as a full cover... Um, I wouldn't obviously be doing that bit there. If it was a full cover, I might put some there. That might help, but it wouldn't matter either way. But that's just so I've got a bending point. And then I'm going to do it there as well. And same again on this side. And this. Oop. And that. And there. Right, so that's all I'm doing. And now we know we now know the process because it's the same as the We Are ones, right? All I'm going to do now is simply remove my red liner and this bit. Just do it on all, obviously. I'm such a... <laughs> we are rapidly running out of stock of this. We really, really are. If it's in your basket, I've, I know like a broken record, please check out because a lot of you are going to miss out. We've had people miss out on the glue strips. We don't want you to miss out on the machine bundle. Brand new today. There it is. How's your singing voice, Dave? Rubbish. Dancing? <laughs> Rubbish. I can make my tongue into the shape of a W and I can do a fake sneeze. Oh, that'll do. That's it. Yeah, that'll do. Cat can touch her nose with her tongue. All it looks like you're in for an afternoon of delight. All of our, all of our party tricks are coming out now. So Dan, Dan on camera too, he's, he's, he's not <laughs> capable of anything this afternoon. <laughs> he had about two hours sleep bless him last night. So, oh, to be young again. Oh, we were know. saying that to Jimmy. I was just like, I can't do that, guys. I can't. Right. So I'm going to put this in. That I know to be a little too thin. Can you see how I've got glue showing? Yeah. It's too thin. I need more paper. We've got a big watch there. That's a lot of paper. Dude, this was my whole, like, New Year, Christmas was just spent cutting paper. But fun, huh? I have got the biggest paper cut this side of Manchesterford. Oh, no. Right. Nothing worse than a paper cut. Peter, hello. Hey, Peter, Peter in Gloucestershire. Hi, guys. I'm new, but I got one of these. Hi, Pete. You're Good more than welcome. On you, kid. Welcome to the family. We're getting quite a watch here. Let me just see. You see, this is the thing. You're like, will this fit? I don't know if it's going to fit in the machine. <laughs> We're going to find out. We're just playing on air. Do we know, Kat, how many new viewers we've got today? New, new customers? New customers? OK, we'll try and find that out. So I've put that straight onto the cardstock. You can use a cover. Obviously, I'm just demoing. It looks very nice, I have to say, just straight on the paper. But obviously, we need to make sure it stays tamped down. So the first thing you're going to do, literally bounce that. Sorry about the noise, but we want it to be as straight as it possibly can. I know that's a frustrating noise, I apologize. Then you're gonna use your bulldog clips. I like to use, when I'm using a thicker book, I like to use two. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna put those down. That's gonna keep it absolutely in place. Because I don't want those papers moving. It's me, we know I'm a messy crafter and it's not gonna stay straight. Now let's see if that's two, that's, that's a thick book. Does, let's see if that goes in. Does it only get hot at the bottom? Of on the metal plate at yeah. the bottom. Right. I mean, Not I wouldn't put your fingers on it. Now, just as a point of interest, just so you know, I actually switched both of these, hey, both of these off because we went to a um, break. So just showing you that I actually switched this off. So I do need to heat it up. But that Kat was just saying to say to you as well, they're really light. Mm -hmm. So when Jimmy picked up the box, he was like, there's nothing in it. And I was like, no, there is. And he was like, they're so light because they are really light. It's so, lighter than any toaster. Do you have to turn it on then for a period of time before it's up to temperature? It just needs to heat. So when you turn it on, yeah. 
Can you see that, yeah, like hair straighteners, can you see there's a wee flashing light there? Yeah. yeah. So it, it does that. It takes about, I don't know, I was about to say two hours. It does. <laughs> <laughs> takes a couple of minutes. Did somebody just say hours in my head? I think somebody just said the word hours and my brain just locked onto it. It takes about two minutes, if that, to heat up and then it's ready to go. As soon as you hear the beep, you can go on it. Now, I obviously have two on the go, but it's obviously got an auto shut off when yep. it starts to get hot and you're not using it. And so I don't, that, if that keeps happening, then I may as well just turn it off is, was my thought process. But once it's warm, it's done. And this is it. The thing is, this, that that I just did is the longest it's gonna take you to make anything, unless you're gonna do hardbacks, which I will go through with you in a minute. So you're talking about, on average, I don't know, five minutes to make a notebook? Mm -hmm. And then we can start getting intricate. So some of the notebooks that I've got here, we're gonna make some, so I've already prepped them. You've got lovely ones with tabs here. Okay, so you can change how it becomes. So it could be a journal or it could be something like that. We've got ones with die cut patterns on them, which are just beautiful where you're using double colors. We can then use the big bite, which we're gonna show you later and start lacing some, which are just super, super pretty. Or we can do very intricate patterns on the front. Absolutely stunning pieces. Really, really easy to do. These are not difficult things, but things like that sell. Now I'm not saying that every crafter wants to sell stuff. I, you know, I know that, of course I know that. And some of us do it for hobbies. I have a massive problem and have had a massive problem since I was about seven of oh, obsessively know. collecting notebooks. I don't know what you're thinking of, Dave. <laughs> obsessively collecting notebooks and then I won't write in them because I love them. And I've got hundreds of them. I can't write in them, I love them. Now I can make my own. So that's now ready to go. I'm gonna place this in and I'm gonna push it right to the bottom yep. and then I'm gonna press the wee button. And that's just gonna cook for two minutes. It, remember, it's a toaster. If you don't push that book in to the bottom, you don't hear it open, it'll sit inside that basket where the basket meets in that L formation. If it starts to sit in that cradle, ain't gonna melt. You gotta open that cradle with the book and allow it to push through. That started to look like a birth episode, so I'm gonna stop doing that as a demonstration. <laughs> it needs to push through and go to the bottom piece so that glue can heat, it can melt, and it can put those papers together. Then you're gonna cool it, or well, we're gonna tamp it, then cool it, and it's done. It's so easy. It is ridiculously simple to make beautiful things. But my biggest love of We Are Makers is the fact that they make tools that are purposeful. It's important. It's important as crafters. I love crafting. I've always loved crafting. But crafting where I have tools that make that job reliable, it, you know, and possible and not complicated. I hate complicated. This is an absolute dream. I'm so pleased for the ones of you who have bought it. I'm, you're going to be so stoked. And genuinely, I've been just desperate for this since we first talked about it nine months ago, I think, when they talked about what they were making. And ever since then, I've just been like, this is the one. You know when you know. I've got to ask you something. If it's in your basket, have you checked out? If you have, many congratulations. We have less than 100 left. Ah. There are many, 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 many more than 100 of you with it in your basket. So it's a case of how quickly that basket gets checked out. If you're online and you've never shopped with us before and you're thinking, oh, I don't know how to check out, I don't know how to split, easiest way is just to give us a phone call on that free phone number and let the call center put it in your basket and check out for you. 0800 001 4433. I'll run through the bundle you're gonna get again in a second, but oh, we're gonna see Carla. It's just beeped, so we know that it's done. I heard it beep. So you take it out, you tamp it. That's gonna make that hot, sticky glue spread across all of those pages on your spine. Yep. So you need to make sure you've got that tap down, okay? Once you've done that, cool it. And just leave that to cool for about five minutes. Keep it on the spine, always do it spine side down. That's gonna put pressure and weight on those pages into that glue. You can see at the bottom there, the spine is exactly the same this is what fascinated me about it. Often when as crafters, we, get, we sometimes get kind of shoddy second ideas as that my, my parents would call it a bobby washable of something, which means it's kind of a replica. You know when you go into shops and you get puffin biscuits instead mm -hmm. of penguin biscuits. Um, we sometimes get that kind of thing. Not so here. We have an absolute thermal binder. That is a proper spine. That's a thermally bound spine that is professionally done. And the one I've just made, is literally 
no different. Look at that. Beautiful, right? You we are have getting, got beautiful stuff. You're getting professional quality results. That's what this thermal cinch will deliver for you. <laughs> Now, we would love to have had more samples. America actually sent us lots of finished books to show you on TV, but they're still, I think, on the water somewhere. But uh, Liam's just sent us a picture of one that they've made in America. Look at that. You can make your own house notebooks yep. or scrapbooks or journals or bullet journals. Whatever you want to make these books into is entirely up to you. But for the first time, you can get that professional finish at home for you, your friends, your family, and to sell if you want to as well. Now, in the bundle, you're gonna be getting everything that you can see here. Now, normally, when you buy a thermal cinch from somewhere else, when they're available elsewhere, not that you can, because they're only exclusively to us at the moment, but you would get basically the machine and you get three spines in the box. That's what will get you started, okay? But the bundle that they put together for us at American Crafts is exceptional. Bearing in mind, the bundle, in addition, to the actual machine is valued at 112 pounds full price. We've got some introductory offers on all of these. You get a bundle of the spines in there. You get all these other, sorry, the glue sticks. You get the other spines as well that you can see, including your die cut spines, six of those, six of the rainbow, six of the floral, six of the retro, six of the label spines, uh, a pack of 12 of the actual glue sticks. You get another six of the uh, neutral colored spines as well. All of these can be cut down to whatever height of book you want to make and then you get the tassels as well so you can actually have like a bookmark tassel in your book as well you get uh, six of those and you're also going to get these now these are genius because normally you have to buy these separately these are little templates and you get one two three four of them in here that have got all these little icons and images that you associate with journaling um, you've got the flowers you've got the hearts you've got the circles and the squares you've got the pennants there as well <laughs> all of that cute. is put in with the machine and bear in mind the value, full price value of the accessories is $112.91. If you bought all the accessories today at our new introductory low prices, they come to $73.91. Any which way you look at it, to get all of that with the machine at $149.99 is just too good an opportunity to miss. And you can get it home for $29.99. We have got it on split pay, five interest-free split pays. If you don't want split pay, you don't have to have it. If you're happy to spend the $149.99 in one go, of course, that's fine. But if you want split pay and spread the cost over five payments, you don't pay more for it, you get it locked at that price and it's interest-free over the five payments. Now, the call center are currently keeping up to your calls. I know that we did have a queue at some point, but if you call the call center, they will process your order. If you're a brand new customer, they'll open an account for you you and sort it out you'll get exactly the same deal as existing hobby maker customers as well so if you're brand new welcome if you're coming back to us and buying this today welcome back to hobby maker and from all of us happy new year check out your baskets during this never miss a show by watching on the go with our brand new hobby maker app head over to your app store now and search hobby maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today's button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. So never miss a show by watching On The Go with our brand new Hobby Maker app. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Shopping with Hobby Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.hobbymaker.co.uk where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your craft room essentials to paper, tools, cutting machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Hobby Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Hobby Maker. Alternatively, you can call our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433.
Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker. What I love about Sizzix products is that they've got a product to cover everything. It's not just about card making. We've got a wide range of mixed media products. We've got dies, we've got stamps, we've even got stencils. So whatever type of crafting you like to do, Sizzix has got something for you. What I love about Sizzix products, I've been working with the company for over 20 years and it still keeps me enthused. Um, and that's the best thing I can say about Sizzix. So excited, Hobbymaker looks like such a fun studio, loads of really nice people, and we're just really excited to get started. Merry Christmas from me, Sharon. Merry Christmas from me, Pete. Merry Christmas from me, Jess. And, and we'll, we'll see you in 2024, 2024 on Hobbymaker. Hobby Maker. Thermal Cinch makes it so easy to bind a book. We obviously are known for book binding tools. We have the, the regular cinch, the, the mini cinch. We have all of these different book binding tools. This one I would say by far the easiest to use. You turn on the machine, it heats up, put your binding on, stick it in there, and in a matter of minutes you have your bound book and uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. I think that's a little bit of an understatement actually. Happy New Year because there are so many delighted viewers messaging us saying how excited they are, how much they're looking forward to receiving the new Thermal Cinch. It is an absolutely incredible product that literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you. Uh, I've, never, I've never actually done a show where we've had so many people come through instantly for one product so quickly. Within 30 seconds of being on air, we had 60 people purchasing this because it's been so eagerly awaited. And the Thermal Cinch bundle that's been put together for you is just off the charts, incredible value for money, it really is. Now, one thing we've not really touched on so far, the glue sticks have gone, the extra glue sticks, we'll do our best to get some more of those as quickly as possible. But of course, with the actual spines, all the different varieties of spines. This is the one that's got the label on it, which says this book belongs to. Um, if you want these, they're on the website now and they're available for you separately. You've got your double-sided adhesive on the left and the right-hand side of the spine, as you can probably see glistening in the light there. And in the middle, you've actually got one of those glue sticks, one of those glue strips actually applied in the spine. So each spine is self-contained, basically. Uh, but of course, the glue strips you can use on other spines that you create and you make up yourself. Now, if I just fan this one out, this one is the one that's got the labels on it. Um, there we go. I'll open them all actually. I'm known for that. <laughs> I always get told off for it. But each, there they are. Each pack has got six in it, okay? So you've got a baby pink, an olive green, a baby blue, a kind of a chocolate color, light blue, and then a sand color as well. And they've all got the glue strip in the middle and they've got the double-sided adhesive on the sides. And that's the wording on the side that this book belongs to. So this is called Labels. Um, and they're all have they all got the same? Oh no, they've got no, different labels different on them. Things. Yeah, with love, create and handled. Handled with love, created and handled with love, that one says, there we go. Uh, that one says um, batch number and belongs to. So beautiful. And you can cut those to whatever size, whatever height of book you're making. So that's those. There should be $12.99, but today, because it's the first of the, uh, first of the month and first of the year, we can let you have all six of them for £8.99. And these are introductory prices, okay? They are consumables, obviously, so you do need to buy more if you want to make more books. £8.99. But if you're making a book, say that's, I don't know, six inches high or something like that, you can get two out of one. Just cut it in half. Uh, PG4680, if you want to get extra of those. The other ones we've got for you are, this one's your neutrals or naturals. 
Um, yeah, naturals. Uh, so you've got here, as you can see, a white, a cream, a coffee, a black, dark brown, and then like a coffee color. 10% of a big stock of this is now gone as well. We have hundreds of these available. We're gonna meet, uh, meet? we're gonna match that price, <laughs> meet and match that price. So we'll give it to you for eight pounds and 99 pence. It's gonna be and should be 12.99. That's OI4697. They don't have any printing on them. They're completely plain, but they're all those wonderful, beautiful uh, neutral colors. They are going to be in the bundle, obviously, all of these are. But if you want extras, if you've got a certain design that you like the look of more than any other, these, let me undo this one because this is actually, the die cut ones are really lovely and they're all, I'll say they're all different. You get three, I think you get three different designs, two of each. So you've got your scalloped edge, you've got your kind of tiger tooth edge, or you've got a tapered edge like that one. Oh yeah, very nice. And then you've got these wonderful kind of doily edges as well. Uh, you get six different, actually, six different ones. And you just pop those apertures out just there. So six of those, if you want those, they're gonna be $8.99 as well. Again, double-sided tape either side and the glue strip up the middle, £8.99 if you want those today. And if you've already ordered the thermal cinch, and you've paid your 395 PMP. All of these now are free delivery because you've already paid your one PMP for the day of 395. Uh, right, next we've got your rainbow. And you've got, again, beautiful shades here. A lovely purple, a lilac, a lavender, a green, and a blue as well, and a yellow. So those are the colors you've got in there. They're all the same length, but trim them to whatever size you wish. So here we go, these are your rainbow colors. That's LA4604, LA4604, 12.99, not today, down to 8.99, and 10% of the stock of that has gone as well. Lots of you have found them on the website. The price didn't drop until now, so don't worry, everyone pays the final low price of just 8.99. You won't be charged on your debit or credit card until midnight anyway, and that's when the computer system collates everything and realizes what you bought pots it into one confirmation email and one PMP of 3.95. Now what we've got here are your florals. So you've got a, a lovely bright yellow, you've then got a pink, you've got a lavender and then you get the three floral colours as well. There we are, large flowers, <laughs> smaller yellow flowers and then tiny little daisies as well. Beautiful. And that's 12 99 and we're going to take it down to £8.99. NK4648 is the product code for that one. Here it comes, tumbling down. I mean, if you think about all the money you've saved by buying the main machine today with the bundle and all the accessories that have come down in price as well. Uh, I think my favourite ones have got to be these. I'm going to take these out as well. I've had permission from Jimmy, so I can do it. As if you need permission, you just do it anyway. I You're know. worse than I am. I know. They're always saying to me, don't open it, Dave. Don't open it. <laughs> Once it's open, we can't sell it. Okay, here we go. So these are your retro. Okay, so you've got that lovely kind of tumbling gemstone sort of effect on that one. Oh yeah, very retro, like that. Kind of oil on water look. Aren't they beautiful? They're lovely. I love the daisies. Yeah, look at that. Maybe a garden journal or something like yeah, that. Yeah, really that pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Very summery. And again, you've got the strip all down the middle and your double-sided tape either side. So yeah, we love those. Maybe order a couple of them. Um, that's called retro. I think I've covered them all now. Uh, we do have the tassels. I do love the You're tassels. You're not wearing the tassels, Dave. I love tassels. Mm -hmm. I've been to the tassel shop. I bet you have. Mm. It's in Brighton, or it used to be. Very strange clientele. Uh, uh, including you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 9 99 you get six tassels and the idea is basically it's a bookmark so you attach it to your book whatever you're making and then of course you can put the tassel to the page I'll that you've show actually... you I'll show you the, t the tassels in a minute I'll show you, you put that onto the glue when you put uh, no, I'll show you how to okay. do it so that it doesn't interfere with the actual gluing process okay so a really special introductory price for tassels we're going to give you I don't know where we're going to go on this cats playing Playing games with me. A quarter, see, people like tassels, a quarter of the stock of the tassels. They just like tassels for the normal reasons, Dave. Oh, okay. GV4687, GV4687. <laughs> okay. We are gonna go, I don't know what price point you're talking about, Kat, but I, I, I imagine if a clock is on the screen, something special is gonna happen. Five seconds and we'll see where the tassels are gonna go. Here we go, three, two, one. What can we do? 
under a five and a half price for six tassels and they're good quality too really yeah, good AC quality. ones they're gorgeous i love the ac tassels. they're actually they're like a, they look like suede for those of you who also have things like the mini cinch um and the multi cinch you'll be able to do a lot with these as well in those so they're great for loads of different projects don't think they're just for the thermal binding right obviously designed for this but you can use them in a ton of other stuff as well a quarter gone Quarter of the stock gone, GV4687. Now, these are great. I mean, I've seen stencils before for planners and bullet journals and things like that um, because they give you basically lots of little uh, images that you can trace around the stencil to put into your bullet journal markers and that sort of thing. So you've got squares, rounds, you've got hearts, flowers, pennants in different shapes. So you get one, two, three, four of them with lovely silk ribbon on as well. I'll take one out for you to show you because I just want to. And we've got four hours. Okay. <laughs> Three now, Dave. Three, okay. Look, I'll hold this up against my shirt. It's even got a little um, ruler on it as well, actually. You've got centimetres at the top and you've got inches at the bottom, but you've got all these images that you can draw around. Isn't it great? You've got a little aeroplane as well. That just popped out. It's not been cleaned properly. There we go. So, yeah, just little images that you can put in your diary. It just kind of jazzes it up, makes it a bit more personal. They're got really useful because it's a ruler as well. Yeah. Like you've got centimetres and inches there as well. So just for doing your generals, it's just very useful. So the journal that I was showing you that I've got in my didgeridoo, which is my actual one. So where I've got my journal and then I've got the actual journal that I've made inside it or the notepad that I've made inside it. If I whizzy over to the back of it, you'll see... I've got that on mine, like lit, I, I purposefully put it, because I like to journal, journal as well, yep. but it means that I can do whatever I need. So I kept that and I've just got it sitting at the back, tucked in there so I can use it at any given and time. You can use those in any book that you've got. If you've got, I don't know, an organiser or a planner that you've already got at home that hasn't got one of these in it, you can use that in it too. £4.99 and that gets you four of those fantastic little stencils with all the images in them, LK4689. Uh, now, thank you for all of your messages that have been coming through. We've had <laughs> literally hundreds. Mandy in Essex says, if making a photo book, mm. would the heat affect the photos? Thank you. Um, would you put the photos in after you've made the book? Yeah, I mean, it would. I'd put them in afterwards and I would create a book that was made for the photos or... Here's the thing, Here's the th because I'm part and part where I don't know the answer. It's unlikely that you would use a, a proper photograph for, for something like that anyway. We'd use, normally we would use a copy, wouldn't we, when we were crafting, uh, and possibly print it on photo paper, which would give us less of a, a risk factor. I'd be more likely to make a photo album and do that. However, one of the things that I've been trying to look into, and I was going to do it on demo today, but then I couldn't find any of them at home, so I couldn't help you. You know when you see a normal book that's bound and the cover on it is shiny, isn't it? It's, it's, it's like a laminated cover. So I started going down a YouTube um, rabbit hole on how to do thermal binding covers and the different ones that you can do. And one of the things that you can do is laminate your covers before you do the gluing process. Um, and it allows you to have that very, very finished look. The problem that I have as, you know, just for me is as far as paper's concerned, I would only be able to laminate up to A4 because it's the biggest laminator I've got, which means my books would need to be smaller than A5 to accommodate the spine. So I, did, I, I hadn't got to that process, but apparently you can score it and do it in exactly the same way and it's fine inside these. So that's one thing to think about. If it would affect your, I haven't had any paper that it's damaged. I haven't done anything that has damaged anything yet. I mean, it's me, so, you know, if somebody's going to damage it, it'll be me somewhere <laughs> down the line. But um, nothing's gone wrong on it. So I can't tell you what not to do at this process. I haven't tried photos and I'm not going to sit here and lie, go, yeah, it'll be fine in order for you to put a photo in and suddenly it go wrong. My advice, take a photo that you're really not bothered about and try it. Mm. Um, and once you know that it's safe, then go from there. I wouldn't just go into it with the best photos you've got of, you know, grandparents and things like that. That, to me, I wouldn't... But if I you put it in the book that. after you've made it, there's no problem. Well, it? the other side... To, yeah, because the other side to it as well, as far as making something like a photo album is concerned, whether you're using the AC spines or whether you're using your own, you've got to have a spine allowance. So what I mean by that is, you know where I was showing you to put the extra score line in? That book's got to bend back somehow. Mm. And so if you put your photo straight into the spine, where it sits, you're going to end up gluing to the photograph. 
And so you might lose half your photograph as well. So I'd just be inclined to make the book. I hope that helps. It was a bit vague, but I hope it helps because mm. I would be cautious. Remember, we, we are live, we are interactive. We will endeavor to answer any, many, any questions that you may send in to us. Uh, Claire sent in a question as well, or Fran, beg your pardon, sorry, Fran. Uh, could the cinch be used with fabric pages? Think about hardcover for a stitch library or a child's book. Again. Not tried that. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think of why not. So would the, glue the, pro the problem is, would the glue adhere fabric. to it? I suppose it would be a bit like using glue from a glue gun, so similar kind of thing. All of these things, a lot of them will be trial and error as you mm. go forward. For me, if I was going to be making something with a fabric book, the first thing I would make sure is that I had uh, a piece of fabric doubled over with something inside it that stiffened it. Mm. Um, there is a product on the market, and I can't remember for the life of me what it's called, but you have fabric and you spray it and it becomes paper. Um, oh, and I've heard of this. yeah, and you, once you wash it, it becomes fabric again, but it becomes paper. And if you had that, then I don't see why not. Okay. Um, I, I don't know other than that because the, all my thinking is, if I've got glue and glue goes hot, it's going to run. And if it runs, will it run onto the fabric? Whereas paper obviously is, it's not going to go anywhere. So mm. it would have to be kind of a. a, a an experiment, I think, Fran. Okay. And remember, we are live at uh, nearly <laughs> half past two on New Year's Day. A very happy New Year from all of us at Hobbymaker. Uh, what a great way to start the new year as well with a brand new machine, the thermal cinch. Now, uh, Sarah Louisa in Bristol says, Happy New Year. Lovely, Dave and Carla. Oh, thank you. Uh, is the thermal cinch available on its own? No, not at the moment. Only in the bundle. And that bundle, we wanted to you know, launch it in a blaze of glory. You know, everybody who buys the thermal cinch needs to have spines and needs to have glue and that sort of thing. So that's why this bundle was put together at an incredibly knockdown price, I have to say, because you know, you're getting discount on all the spines, you're getting discount on the machine itself, but it's only available in this bundle at the moment. And remember, you can't get this anywhere else. If you see it on anyone's website, anywhere else, none of them have any stock. And a lot of them are across the pond in Europe or even further afield, uh, so they won't have UK plugs on them. This has been designed and manufactured for our country, so it's got everything to UK specification, okay? 149.99, and such is the um, relationship with American Crafts that actually produce We Are Makers and American Crafts cardstock and all of that. That's how we can get these deals. Um, it's been exceptional. NTXC 59, NTXC 59. Now, Liam is working from home, watching, and he has basically just sent a message, and, and this, is, this is what's just come through. Um, just let them know, I'll be reordering things like the glue strips. I will try to fly them over. Ooh, so don't panic if they didn't get hold of them. Okay, so normally things that come from abroad come on the ship, and that can take weeks, if, if not months. Um, that is the most cost-effective way of, of, of getting things across. So if it's flown, that inflates the price and cost for us, but we're prepared to do that. Liam has said that, you saw the message. So yeah, rest assured, if you're buying the machine and you're thinking, oh, they're not gonna have stock of any of the spines for months and months and months, or the glue sticks for months and months and months, don't worry, they will be back in stock ASAP. But if you buy the bundle today, you're gonna, you're gonna get that bundle of glue sticks anyway. Also, or the strips, you're also gonna get, of course, all the spines, and the spines have one of those in the middle of them anyway. So the strips you'll only use on spines that you make yourself, basically. Yeah, yeah. of course. Um, and I think they just allow you to experiment in different ways. The actual spines from We Are beautifully constructed and obviously they give us a really lovely look. So there's value to either, either yeah. of them, isn't there? Yeah. Um, and I think you'll go through the spines from We Are fast and then you'll want to make your own and that's when your glue strips will come in. Um, there's a question on the screen there. Let me endorse it, uh, yeah. Happy, Happy New Year. Year. Just turned on the TV. What paper are you using for the pages? Love Wendy. Effectively, it doesn't matter. Um, so you can use you can use print paper. You can use. Um, it depends what you want to use it for. Is my answer. If I'm making journal pages, I always print my own because I design what I want to have on Illustrator. And so then I print loads of them and I just use them that way. Um, but my advice is if you're just starting out and you just want some simple notebooks and it's for yourself or for family and friends and you're not going to be necessarily selling it, like I say, go onto Amazon and buy mm. really cheap paper, just mm. buy reams of it. Or um, from our website. Oh, um, do you sell reams of, of cheap 
Well, I'm just thinking cheap kind of pen to paper to start yourself yeah. off with. Well, I know paper That's dynamics. Where I, go. I mean, obviously, my go to uh, company for paper, apart from, of course, American Craft Cardstock in the show, is Paper Dynamics. And they do amazing deals. Uh, yeah. Keith was here yesterday and the day before, I think it was. <laughs> uh, and yeah, they've always got amazing deals on all sorts of card and paper. So check out paper. They do A3 size as well as A4. Um, so that's great for cutting down to whatever shape and size you want. Uh, similar question from Debbie in South Yorkshire. Happy New Year, Carla, Dave and the rest of the team. Great show. Thank you. Uh, quick question. Do you use single sheets for the inside or is it folded sheets? Could be either, okay. couldn't it? Well, yeah, but so here we go. Traditional binding, you would always use folded sheets called signatures. That's traditional binding. And so those signatures will go to form them. You can't use signatures with the thermal cinch because that glue has to hit every page. And obviously a signature might have four pages folded to create that signature and you would use however many signatures to make it thicker. Would I go to the length of folding paper for it? No, it's much easier for me to cut it with a guillotine and have smaller pages. It makes more sense for me to do it that way. Um, and this way I can have A4 books or I can have A5 or anything smaller than that. So I wouldn't use folded, although it's an excellent question, Deb, because, and one I didn't think to answer prior, but as, a, as somebody who binds books a lot, I always do it with signatures, which is folded pieces. So that, I think that's where you're getting that from, and that's where I would have got it from, actually. Um, but not with, I wouldn't with mm. this. I, I'd just avoid it, because you'll get bulk that you don't need. Uh, lots of questions coming in, which is great. That's what we're here for. Uh, Theresa in Cornwall says, good afternoon. What's the smallest size book you can make? Loving the show. And happy New Year to you all. Thanks, Theresa. Well, it doesn't matter as far as your width is concerned. The issue is going to be the height, and that's because you've got to be able to get it out. Yeah. So the depth... I haven't got a ruler. So if I show you this, see where this blue line is here? Yeah. That is about the height of the depth of the books. It's got to be higher than that. Right. So this one is fine. Okay? Yeah. Because it sticks out the top and I can grab it. Anything that's smaller, so say like I'd made one that's here, I'm going to have problems getting my hands in to get that out. Right. So I would avoid that. So basically you're making it taller than the gripping point of the machine. Um, and so it, it's tiny is the answer, really. I mean, some really nice book ideas would be to do some bifold ones. So where you have um, two different sizes of paper inside one. So, for instance, I could have a book that is made up like so. So uh, for, for a photo album, that's a really nice idea. For that's money pockets, idea. those yeah. sort of things. So I would open one and then the other. You obviously have one single cover for that uh, and you would use the glue spines in exactly the same way. It's just you would have these. This is where your bulldog clips really do come in handy because you would be able to grip them yeah. before you ever go to doing the gluing stage. So that's a really lovely thing to do as well. I also thought it would be really cute. Can you remember when we were kids and um, we used to do flick books? Can you remember drawing yes. flick books? Yes, yes. Wouldn't yes. these be cute as little flick books? But I'm thinking, you know, you, know, you get six spines in a pack. And of course, if you buy in the bundle today, you're getting get loads of packs of different varieties of spines. But if you're doing three little pocket notebooks, like policemen's notebooks, you could get three easy. out of a spine. So those six suddenly becomes 18 little yeah, pocket absolutely. books. Yeah, absolutely. Easy, easy, easy done. Just trim it. OK, Carol, uh, hello to you. Carol is in the Isle of Man, or Carol Ann, beg your pardon. Uh, Happy New Year, all at Hobby Maker. Love watching Carla and We Are Makers. Better than all the films. P.S. Uh, you seen Craig Laird's Facebook, Dave? He did warn me he was going to put it on Facebook. Were I corpsed yesterday? Yeah, probably. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll look forward to seeing that a bit later, but thank you for the warning. Oh, we had some fun yesterday. Oh, I see, OK. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it's best not to ask Dave things. Yeah, but thank you, Carol. I'll have a look at his Facebook page later. He's a little minx. He is. Um, <laughs> right, question from Becky in Norfolk. She says, Happy New Year to you all. Question for Carla, please. Do you have a public Facebook or Insta page as I'm enjoying watching and listening to you? Oh, that's very lovely. <laughs> I think you might be the only person in the world that's asked that. <laughs> um, I do have a page. Um, I don't like doing this live on telly, so I apologise to Hobbymaker. No, 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 it's fine. My, they're saying sorry. I'm sorry to you guys. My page is cut by hand. Um, which is a long-standing business that I've had. It is my business and I've run it for a long time. Um, it started off predominantly as paper cutting and quilling and has gone through all of the crafts that I go through in my little ADHD brain. Um, and, and that's that. And then the other one is carnation 
TV where Dave, you'll find Dave and I all the time. That's over on YouTube. Um, and that's obviously for Carnation. So there you go. Okay. Pamela in West Yorkshire. So many messages this afternoon. It's great. Can't wait for my thermal cinch to arrive. Already planning book covers, favourite recipes, books, journals, etc. So excited. Pam, we're excited for you. If you're doing recipe books, I would really try, Pamela, to do them laminated. The sheets inside laminated. Print your recipes out, laminate them, and then it doesn't actually matter if you've got flour on your hands and those kind of things, It because it'll wipe. So it'll be brilliant mm. for that sort of thing, right? Oh, now, this is Susan, who I announced at the hey. beginning of the shows today, won the contents of a basket. Susan in That's West Yorkshire. That's fantastic. Uh, happy New Year to all. She says, I love Hobby Maker. Thank you. We love you too, Susan, and congratulations. I don't know what you bought, but it's free now, so well good done. on you. Okay, 90% uh, of our entire day's stock, <laughs> and we deliberately set aside all four of our hours this afternoon to talk everything American crafts, mainly the thermal cinch, thinking that the quantity that we had, the hundreds and hundreds that we actually had available, <laughs> would last us until five o'clock. Crazy fools. We've got 10% of the stock left, and there is more than that 10% of stock in people's baskets. Now, if it's in your basket, it's very easy to think, oh, it's safe, it's mine. No, it's not. Because if, if, there's, if there's two left, let's say, there's more than that at the moment, but if there's two left and there are 10 people with it in their baskets, only two of those 10 will be successful. The other eight won't be able to check out. It will say, sorry, sold out when you get to check out. So check your baskets out, please, if you could. If you want any help, if you've got any queries, if you've never shopped with us before, if you think, I want that, but I don't know what to do, ring the call center. It's a UK-based call center just outside Birmingham. They're above our head. They're here 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all over Christmas, all over New Year. 0800 001 4433. They're lovely, and they will set an account up for you. And then they just ask you for your payment details, how you'd like to pay, what card you want to use, and they will offer you split pay as well. Uh, we've had so many messages. I think this is the most messages I've ever, ever received in any show that we've done here at Hobby Maker. So thank you ever so much. I love um, it when customers message in. I think it's really important that we hear from what you want to know rather than us just waffling because... Yeah. Dave, we can waffle. We can Dave, waffle. kid, we can waffle That's what we for do. a living. <laughs> uh, but it's always nice to know that we're answering questions that you actually have. So yeah, yeah and thank you so much for your Happy New Year uh, messages as well. And if Kat's missed any message, if you haven't had yours read out yet or question answered or anything like that, just message in again because um, she's being inundated, inundated with so many messages. Now, the tassels. <laughs> There's a thing going on for tassels. Over eighty percent of them now gone. And these are these are. They look like suede to me. I don't know if they are, but they certainly look like. Yeah, they're kind of a faux suede. Can I just suede. say, it's New Year's Day, right? Yeah. One of the things I love to do, I love to make things out of leather. Yes. Dave asked if I would make him some chaps. <laughs> and now he's talking about the tassels. I was joking, Carla. <laughs> he said about me making him some chaps, and now he's talking about tassels. And basically, at this point, I'm thinking that I'm very glad I didn't drink last night, because I'm not sure... <clears throat> that my little brain can take much more. Nothing is secret anymore. Don't trust me with those things, Dave. I'll say it on air. <laughs> I know that now. <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. I will make you some chaps, Dave. It's fine. It's fine. I'll make you some chaps. Send me your measurements. <clears throat> oh, my word. I'll even pay for the leather, Dave. I knew it was dangerous working with you, but not quite that dangerous. OK, um, right, that's completely thrown me now. Uh, now, if you want to get a castle... <laughs> Tassels. I love you, Dave love Bradford. You £4.99 for six tassels, <laughs> multicoloured ones. Twiddle them, do what you want with them. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> they're, there for, they're there for bookmarkers, babe. <laughs> they're there for bookmarkers. GV4687. For comedy value, for nothing else, grab them while we got them, because they're going. And we will get some more. We'll make sure Liam gets many more tassels in the future. I'm sure he will. We'll need to keep you in stock, Dave. Right, I was hoping that I could do a double demo for you, one that involves using said tassels. Um, but also, I want to do a demo that is purposefully wrong. So I want to actually do a demo that purposefully doesn't work so that you can see at home what not to do. Um, and so, <laughs> you're all Enter right, Dave. Dave. Enter Dave. Got very hot so, in here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dave's gone out for a drink. So I've got my spine here and I've done the workings on it. So I've got the extra score lines there so that I've got that tight spine that's going to sit with all my pages in it. 
But the reason I'm going to do it wrong is because of this. So I'm hoping it goes wrong. Watch this go perfectly right. But can you see how I've got a gap running down both of my spines? So there's no glue in the middle. There's a gap here as well. And there's a little bit at the end. That is definitely going to be a problem area. And the reason it's going to be a problem area is when I open the book, even if this works and there's no issue with the center point, this bit where there's no glue is actually you're going to be able to see those pages at the bottom. So I want to do it purposefully so that you can see that error because I think it's important that we've got all of the aspects. So I'm going to remove my red liner. You can use finger lift tape. It's, it doesn't really matter what you're using on this because it's just a stabilizer. But if I want to put my tassel in, I'm going to get the back of my book, which I'm going to use for this side. And I'm going to take the ribbon and make sure it's straight, whichever way. And I'm just going to place it. Hey, I'll put it here. It doesn't matter. You're going to have to measure how long you want your tassel. So you to put be. it alongside the glue. Yeah, yeah, on my red liner tape. Right. Got okay. Yeah. Now, if I really, really want to make sure that, that that is stuck, what you can then do is, hey, oh, she says, take this, find your end. Oh, look at all that Phyllis fare on there. <laughs> I bought some new cat food last night. You'd have thought I'd, all our Christmases had come at once. <laughs> so I'm going to take that and I'm just going to place that there. And that's just going to allow me to have a bit of extra sticky. I'm not really worried about it, to be honest, but it's just going to allow me to have the adhesion on top of that tassel as well. Now, I've got that done. So I'm slightly loath to ruin this one, actually, because I really love these tabs, but tamp it. Did you make the tabs yourself? Yeah, I used, um, we are, I've got a tab tool. Actually, if any of you have got the... We are makers all in one tool, which we've brought you loads of times. So I know some of you have got it. Um, it's got a tab maker on it, so you can make all your tabs oh, on brilliant. that. Perfect for this. Perfect for it. Now I need to keep the tab, uh, the tassel out of the way. Now, like I say, I'm hoping this goes wrong. So if I just place this in, I don't want the pages to go wrong. Hold on, I'll keep my spine open. Take this to here, place and place and then close it as we would normally. So I've got my book in place. Everything is fine. Everything's where it should be, possibly not straight as it should be, but let's not worry about that. Now, I can't bulldog clip this because my tabs are in the way. What I can do is bulldog clip the very, very sides of it. I'm not worried about this being straight. We're trying to ruin it anyway. So I'm just gonna put this here. Remember, I left that piece of glue. Can you remember at the bottom, yep. there was a piece missing? Yep. We're gonna look at that bit first, but also the midpoint where I had a gap between the glue. So I'm trying to make this mistake visually so that you guys don't have to make it once you get this home. I'm just gonna wrap my tassel around there, place this in, and let's see if this fits. Push that through, there we go. Make sure your clips aren't stopping it and press your button. Now, what's gonna happen, obviously, this is gonna heat for two minutes and that glue is gonna melt and it's gonna adhere those pages together. Thank you very much. My question is, and I haven't experimented with this, I do know the bit that was missing at the bottom is definitely gonna be a problem because I have messed up with that at home, which is why I want to show you it. I don't know whether the glue in the middle point that I missed is gonna spread and adapt to the pages that are inside it because it's gonna be a liquid or whether it will still stick just to those pages. So I want to experiment with that. So the message is really always go edge to edge. Yeah, edge end to edge, to but really important that you don't go over the edge with that glue because what you don't want is glue all on the inside of your machine. No, true. So you've got to keep it within the boundaries. I would say take it two millimeters below the edge of your spine. Right. Okay. Um, and I think that'll just help keep it aligned. One of the things that I have been playing with and I love I've been making these and I really, really love them. And I think they're really sweet. Now, if you look at this, you'll see that my book covers are higher than the actual pages. Okay, yep. so I've got a little bit of room to play with there. Now, the problem that I've got there is once I've put my spine on that, the glue is actually going to reach to the top. I'm going to have this glob of glue at the top where that gap is. So under those circumstances, I would make sure that my spine, that the actual strip of glue that I'm using is only as long as the pages and not as long as my spine. Right because otherwise I'm gonna get a glue globule and it's actually gonna affect the working mechanism of the book itself and I don't want that to happen. That makes sense. So we will talk about that. And another demo that I'm gonna do in a second is talk to you about hardback covers because it's not designed for hardback covers. So this is 
heated. Now, this process where we tamp, sorry about the noise guys, it has to happen, where we tamp that down and do it well, make sure you've tamped it. What that's doing is basically compressing that glue, that spine's hot. So it's compressing that glue into all of those pages. Now my curiosity comes where, let me just set that to dry, where I left the gap in the middle. Mm -hmm. I know it's gonna mess up at the bottom, that was fine, that was purposeful so that you could see the gap. So I know that those pages are gonna be loose at the bottom. But my question for myself and for you guys at home is where that mid strip was missing, is the glue going to merge into that? Yeah. Or am I gonna lose those middle pages? Because I think it's important for us to know, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm experimenting on air, but I hope it helps you guys. Okay, well, we'll leave that to cool. Remember, it takes two minutes in the machine and then put your book in the rack by the side of the machine for about five <laughs> minutes to let it cool and let it set. Uh, right, Erica in Greater Manchester. Hello, good afternoon to you, Erica. Could I possibly see how the finished book opens up and if they can lie flat when open. Wonderful shows, I'm hooked. Happy New Year, Erica, and to you, Erica. Um, well, yeah, I suppose it's like any book, really. You can lie yeah, flat. Yeah, it's, it's kind of how long is a piece of string. Let me just, well, actually, it's not how long is a piece of string, it's whether you do the extra spine. So I've got one here that's my spine. I've got one here that is a We Are Memory Keeper spine, okay? So they're different. Now, the difference being is I, co I create an extra line down there. So that's going to change things. The We Are Memory Keeper one is going to open and I'm going to sort of create the spine by opening it. And to me, that's why I like to make my extra score line mm -hmm. because it makes it sense. So it doesn't lay flat. What you're going to need to do, obviously, as you do with new notebooks, is you push that back, which is why when I do mine, I always create that extra spine line here right. yeah. because that way I can now manipulate those pages the way I want to manipulate them. So to me, it makes more sense for me to be able to do that than it does for me to have to fight with that. Now, I think, here I go. I think the We Are Memory Keepers, I'm going to touch you as a crafter. I think the We Are Memory Keepers spines, I don't think I could make my own spines that pretty. And so to me, the value in them comes with the wow factor from them. Mm -hmm. If I was going to sell notebooks using the We Are Memory Keeper spine, I would just add in a score line. Right. An extra little score line, half an inch down, uh, so that I could just have that fold open that I've got here, because that spine is blatantly prettier than mine, blatantly. You know, there's no, there's no comparing the two. But mine opens flat that way, mm -hmm. straight away. This one, I'm gonna have to guide it to do so, okay? I don't now, know. What would you use, just like a, a very fine ball tool or something? I just score it. I Because once you open them... Or just get a ruler and just do it. I'd just do this if it was me. Oh, on a scoring board. Okay, yeah, gotcha, yeah. Do it before you put it on the book. <laughs> so messy. So if I've got this, I can do see it my two you put score it on lines. The book, basically, yeah. Yeah, my two score lines are there. I just take this. Ah, gotcha. And I just whip a score line down. I thought you meant score it once the book was made. Do it before. Yeah, I just do that beforehand. Hey, I've gone off kilter there. So I just do that, and that would mean that now when this, you know, opens, you don't have to. It's not designed to do that. I just like the fold on it um, because I like to work with a book that lays flat. Mm -hmm. um, and so I would, I would probably just do that if it was me. Um, but again, I'm not telling you how to craft. Just it was just the way I would do it if it was me. But great question. Thank you, Erica. Brilliant question. Jenny, hello Jenny in Doncaster. Hi everyone, happy new year. And to you Jenny, are the pages inside single sheets or folded paper? Thank you. Yeah, we covered that earlier on. Yeah. You recommend single, don't you? Um, well, yeah, and again, I, listen, you've got to do what you want to do. I can't, I would never dictate. My issue is when I take a piece of paper and I fold it and I score down, the issue that I've then got is bulk. So one piece of folded bulk wise is going to take up more span on my spine than a single sheet. And as a consequence to that, I'm going to lose some of the room inside my journal for extra sheets of paper. So I kind of see it as... Um, but if you put two single sheets together, wouldn't that be the same thickness as one folded? No, you add bulk because when you, when you, because fi we'll, we'll get technical, because paper is made up of fibres, yeah. when you fold those fibres, you're doubling the fibre. So the paper will sit slightly open. Uh, it won't just sit flat next to its partner. Right. 
you'd have to burnish, burnish, burnish to get it anywhere near. And it's still going to slightly sit open. That's the right. nature of paper, the weave on the paper. So to me, I'd rather just have them flat next to each other so that I get more pages out of the spines that, that I'm sense. using. Yeah. Um, because it's just about the weave on the paper. Like you, you've got to break the fibres, right? So just cut them. That's what I would say. Now, Elspeth in County Antrim. Hello, Elspeth. Hi, Carla and Dave. I might have missed you talking about this, uh, about making your own spines. Yeah. What weight of card for spines is best? Another good question. It's a really good question. Um, I don't think it matters. I think you could do a spine with some printer paper if you so chose. It's not the issue with the weight of the card stock that you use. It's to do with the strength of it. It's to do with will it will it score mm. without cracking? Because the biggest problem that I've had while I've been doing it, and I'm gonna to be totally upfront with you, because I had to make so many for demo, I've used some cheaper cardstock. I didn't wanna use my really good AC for it. So I did use some cheaper cardstock and it's cracking. And so when I score it, it doesn't look beautiful. It's got a white core. Um, so the question wouldn't be the weight that I used, it would be the strength of it and also does it does it crack? Is it going to look beautiful? But I can tell you definitely score it gently and bend it gently and you will reduce the cracking. You'll reduce that, that fiber breaking in your cardstock. So you could use American Craft cardstock for the spine. You 100% you can use, it. yeah, of course. Well, the reason I ask that is we're gonna to get to the American Craft cardstock in the next part It'll of the show. It'll be beautiful for your spines. Yeah. And um, we at Hobby Maker bring you that cardstock, some of the best cardstock in the business, at the most incredibly affordable price. Because elsewhere you're paying about a five pound more for a pad American craft card slot than we actually charge you here. So if you want any of that card slot, I think it's on the website right now for you. It's coming up at three o'clock though. We'll go through all the options that we've got available, all the different color options we've got available. I mean, it's the fan, the fan base for American craft card slot is immense. Once you've tried it, You'll never ever want to go back. If you've got a cutting machine, it's the best thing you can buy for a cutting machine. And now you can use American Craft Card Stock for your spines as well if you run out of the spines that you're going to get in your bundle today. And we have still got individuals of the spines available that have the glue strips in the middle of them. <coughs> So in Bedfordshire, hello Sue, thanks Dave and Carla for making me laugh. Uh, I've had COVID since before Christmas, oh bless you, and me cheering up. So I bought the machine and some extras, Sue in Bedfordshire. Uh, love to you, Sue. I know, feel your pain, we both do, don't we? Yeah, absolutely, there, especially with Dave and Chaps, we all feel that pain. <laughs> Stop it. <coughs> I'll send you all some photos when it happens. Should we have a look at the broken book? Yeah, okay. Let's have a look. So this one obviously done badly on purpose so that we can show you what not to do. Um, so where was the bit? Right, the first bit we're gonna look at, I think we might need to do this on overhead guys, just so you can clearly see it. Where my opening is here, can you see the black spine coming through? Yeah. Because the glue wasn't there, right? Right. So that's causing me a problem. First of all, you've got to have glue that covers the whole length of it. So I hope that you, you know, that makes sense as to why I wanted to show you. I want to see for myself, there you go. You see, you know I didn't have glue in the middle? Yep. It makes There's a difference. Makes you've all the You've got to have glue. All that, that whole strip has got to be covered. So I'm glad we did that actually, because then it shows. I, I definitely wanted to just see what would happen. I did have a feeling that would be the case. Mm -hmm. So you've got to protect the glue base. So if you've got a spine that's half an inch thick, you need half an inch thick worth of glue. Yeah. Does that make Makes sense? Makes absolute sense, yep. yeah. Just keep it uniform, keep it straight, do edge to edge or a couple of mil Ill, Ill or in from where the actual uh, spine of the book ends and you should be absolutely fine. Uh, uh, what a great day this is turning out to be. Amazing. And I got to spend it with you, Dave. Oh, and you too. Julian Walmsley, or Walmley, sorry, in West Midlands. Uh, I bought this cinch, uh, but I missed the first part of the show. Can you go through what we get again, please? Sorry to be a pain. Julian, not a pain, not at all. I can go through it quickly. I've got enough time in the show to do that. Remember, we still have a few of you that haven't <laughs> checked out your baskets. It's not yours until you do, please. I know I'm saying it again and again and again. You've got, okay, the cinch machine itself, um, which is the thermal cinch. We have got it exclusively in the UK. If you find it on a website anywhere else, it's probably a foreign website. They probably haven't got any stock. That's what we found anyway. We have it exclusively in the UK with a UK three pin plug, all making UK standards. It's all ready to go. We're the only place that has it. And it's in our warehouse as well. But with this, you're actually gonna get an awful lot of extras. You're gonna get die cut spines, floral spines, retro spines, neutral spines, 
rainbow spines and spines with labels as well. Now, I did go through them a little bit earlier on. Let me just show them to you again. Basically, a spine, you get three in the box with the machine as standard, okay? So these are extras that you wouldn't normally get with the machine. And the deal that we've got for it is absolutely incredible because every single spine has got double-sided tape there and there to stick to your book, um, book cover. But then for the spine of the book itself, you've got that continuous strip of adhesive running through the center of it. So they're all self-contained and ready to go. You get six of the retro, you get six of the floral, six of the rainbow, plain colors, but rainbow colors, six of the die cuts, so die cut frilly edges, six of your neutrals, or your kind of uh, blues, uh, blues, browns and taupes and things. And then you get six of your labels as well, which have got different labels on the side of them. This book belongs to handcrafted, all that sort of thing. So you get all of those spines, as well as that, you get five or four of these templates, and they're basically stencils with uh, bookmarking and journaling uh, icons on them. So you can actually add that to your bullet journals, all that sort of thing as well. So you get four of those individually threaded with ribbon. Then you've got your two, four, six tassels, which have made us laugh, um, but they are in there as well. So that's the bundle that you get today. Now, if you were to buy all of that at what the price should be, all of this would come to $112.91 at the full price, okay? But with our discounted prices today, it would come to $73.91. That's the value of that at our prices that we're doing today individually on the website. So when you bear in mind, you're looking at $149.99 for all of that, and it's on five-way split pay, $29.99. Hopefully that's answered your question. That is the bundle. If you're very quick and you put it in your basket and check out, you'll hopefully get one before this completely sells out. We are down to the last few machines out of lots and lots and lots. NTXC 59. More on American Craft card stock though coming up in the next part of the show. We'll go through all the options we've got available. Any more questions, please do feel free. Message via the website. Or you can send us an email as well, which is studio at hobbymaker.co.uk or on the website. It says contact the studio in a little box. Tap your message. It goes through to Kat. She puts it on the screen, which is what literally dozens, if not hundreds of you now have done today. Um, we'll be back in a couple of minutes, though. Take this break to check out your baskets. Enjoy your machine. And we'll be back with cardstock from American Crafts after this. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with our brand new Hobbymaker app. Head over to your app store now and search Hobbymaker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today's button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. So never miss a show by watching On The Go with our brand new Hobbymaker app.
What I love about Sizzix products is that they've got a product to cover everything. It's not just about carb making. We've got a wide range of mixed media products. We've got dyes, we've got stamps, we've even got stencils. So whatever type of crafting you like to do, Sizzix has got something for you. What I love about Sizzix products, I've been working with the company for over 20 years and it still keeps me enthused. Um, and that's the best thing I can say about Sizzix. So excited, Hobby Maker looks like such a fun studio, loads of really nice people, and we're just really excited to get started. Merry Christmas from me, Sharon. Merry Christmas from me, Pete. Merry Christmas from me, Jess. And, and we'll, we'll see you in 2024, 2024 on, on Hobby Maker. Maker. We're having such a good time here at Hobby Maker. It's New Year's Day, and we wanted to launch New Year with Hobby Maker in style. And I think we've done that with this amazing thermal cinch machine. Um, we're welcoming loads of brand new customers. Lots of customers are coming back to us. Um, just to remind you, if you've just switched over, just switched on, just got in or whatever, maybe you've been out for lunch somewhere, very nice, not jealous at all. Um, this machine, you can't get anywhere else. If you see it on a website, it's probably in Europe or America or Brazil. Um, they haven't got stock yet. No one's got stock yet. Um, they won't have UK plugs. Ours are in stock in the warehouse, ready to be sent straight away, and it's all to UK standards, as you would think. And it's all due to the fact that we've got the most amazing relationship with Chastity and everybody else at, uh, at American Crafts. Um, so much so that we can not only bring it to you first and exclusive here from Hobby Maker, uh, but also do deals like we're doing here today, where you're getting incredible value for money, and you're able to bind your own books professionally using heat in a very controlled and safe environment. The whole thing with the big bundle, with all those extra spines, the extra glue sticks, the extra tassels that have gone down the storm, and also the extra um, organizer stencils as well, the kind of journal and planner stencils, all of that <coughs> for £149.99. You've got nearly £210 worth of value. And even better, we're giving it to you on interest free split pay, which is there for everybody, even if you've never shopped with us before. There's no credit checks. It's something that we, as a business, Gemporia, uh, of course, um, Sewing Street, Jewelry Maker, the Gems Channel, uh, all of the other channels under that umbrella offer that as a company. So we ask you for a fifth of it today, and then automatically in four weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks, the next payments come off your card that you choose to use today. Anne in Devon, lovely part of the world. Anne, hello. Happy New Year. And you, first time customer. Yes, 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 yes. And an avid journal maker, she says, having bought this product, it produces perfect bound books in bookmaking terms. Thanks, guys. Absolutely. Obviously, you've not used it yet because it's brand new and you haven't received it yet, but you can see for yourself, it does produce perfect bound books. That's what we're all about, basically. And we have had some other questions. And in the break, we kind of got, uh, got a few bits and pieces together to answer this for you. Will glitter card and coated card melt in the binder from Mandy in Somerset? <laughs> Let's find out live on air. Let's do it live. You ask, we'll <coughs> demonstrate. If we don't know, we don't know, and we'll try it. Well, listen, we, if we're going to find out, we'll find out together, right? Absolutely. I think I've got too we much went and found some glitter card, which is what uh, Carla's cutting up. Now, uh, Sue in Hampshire's also used about how about using vellum every other page. Now, I would you would attach be vellum to the paper page first? Hope that makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense, absolutely. I don't think you'd need to because I think the glue would do it. Listen, we're going to find out. We're going to use some vellum. We're going to use some glitter card. We'll do both. And let's find out. Let's Julian find Dorset. out together. I'm not going to do it on every page, obviously. but Julian Dorset says, can you use mount board? Happy New Year to you all. Looking forward to experimenting. That is a whole demonstration that I'm going to do for you on its own. And I'll do it after we do this demo because okay. I think that's something that is a bigger question. Right. Um, so we will do this. Now, a little bit like Debbie McGee. I've put, I don't know if Debbie McGee ever did put vellum between cardstock, but you know, it's my version of Debbie McGee in my head. I've got all my vellum and I'm going to use this piece as a cover, okay? So I'm going to shuffle and I, I might have too much cardstock here, but we'll soon find out. So I've got a spine, any spine. So if I put that there and I work out. That looks about right to me. There mm -hmm. might be a couple that's too many there. 
I'm going to take some pink out. If this works, I do like the idea of actually having like a, a vellum leaf in between each page. I like that. That would be that. so Very pretty. Posh. Especially yeah. if you were doing a sketchbook, because yeah. it would protect your work. That would certainly think, kind of raise the level and the luxury of the book. Wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. I think that's okay. Now, I do advise that you cut these spines properly with a trimmer. I still think that might be a wee bit. I just don't want to overface the glue. <laughs> you need to experiment with the amounts that you use, guys because it's different depending on what you're making. And I yeah, don't Depends like on the gap. fitness of the paper, the vellum, whatever. We're getting loads of great questions. I've Thanks, loved guys. the questions today. I, it's so important. So I'm going to use that as my guide. So that's my straight across there. This will be incredibly wobbly. But I keep thinking, mind. you know, how often throughout our lives have we sent messages into a TV show or a radio show trying to get an answer to something? You never hear back. Never in a million years. We give the answer straight away. We even do the demonstration to see if it works. We try our best. <laughs> Might not be the answers you wanted to hear, <laughs> kids, but we try. Well, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But... Uh, right, let me just make sure this is turned. How much card did Jimmy put in? I don't even like glitter, I've got to say, Jimmy. You put an awful lot around me here. This is encapsulated glitter card as well, isn't it? It doesn't really matter no? because what happens is my teeth start to itch. No, I mean for the machine. Oh, I don't know about the machine. I'm less bothered about the machine than my teeth actually just itching like mad right now. Just so everybody at home knows. Your teeth ever itch? Mushrooms make my teeth itch. I don't think I've ever ever had itchy teeth. Eh? Chewing cotton wool. Che why would you chew oh, cotton wool? Why would you chew cotton wool? <laughs> oh, the thought of it. When my nana was pregnant with my auntie, she got cravings. No, pregnant with my dad. Sorry, my nana was pregnant with my dad. She got cravings for coal. I've heard of that. And before. just used to eat coal all the time. And then my auntie, which is where that came into my head, instead of having, which was her daughter, instead of having a craving for coal, had cravings for pebbles. For what? Pebbles. Eating them. She would eat pebbles. Don't try you that lick at home. A pebble. Cat, you little weirdo. Who are we working with? Lord only knows. Lick a pebble. You don't know where it's been. <laughs> <laughs> she said she'll wash it. I'm not I, sure about the people I work with here. I'm working with weird here. people. Yeah, I, I, nobody told me this. <laughs> Sue in Hampshire says it's one of the best bits of Hobby Maker, the interaction. Thank you, Sue. Sue, I totally agree with you. I totally agree with you. Anyone I else bet like she's looking changed pebbles? her mind. <laughs> right, I'm just sticking this on here. Right, let's try. Let's see what happens. Let's put this bad boy in here. A message from Lan in Surrey. Hi, Lan. Wishing everyone at Hobby Maker a very happy new year and you. Uh, you all work so hard and I can't wait for the afternoons. Love you, Carla and Dave. Thank you. Oh, Love you too, you. Lan. We can't wait for the afternoons as well. Sandra in Lincolnshire. Ah! <laughs> ah, Sandra. Sandra Rushton. Was Sandra the first person to buy this? Was it? Uh, why are you even surprised that Sandra Rushton was the first one to get this? Well, she's got her own binding machines in her, in her factory. Yes, but it's... Have you never sat with Sandra and I while we sit there just obsessing about we are in the back room together like two teenagers? You know how like teenagers, probably not with Cliff Richard anymore, but you know, in those days they did with Cliff Richard. Yeah. And they were all like, Cliffy is my love. Huh? That's okay. me and Sandra Rushton with We Are Memory Keepers. She says, hi, Dave and Carla, and all, happy new year. Bought the bundle in the first five minutes. Just know it'll be useful for making really tangly does. tile books, etc." Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you've got the big industrial machines that make all the big books that we have here on the channel. But yeah, absolutely, for tangling tile books and things. Perfect. Well, it's so quick and easy as well. And because it's got such a small kind of surface area, so it's not taking up any room, is it? It's no, no. bigger than a big book. Um, so for on my desk, I've got a, a desk that's probably about the same size as this, and it just sits over in the corner. and I just keep dragging it out and actually I've used it a lot and that's a big thing for me is how much do I actually use it um, because one of the other things that we'll be showing you at some point during these four hours is the big bite and the crocodile which are two of my favorite tools actually the crocodile is what my oldest standing we are tool it's the one I've had the longest out of all of my tools um, and the ones that you constantly use and you forget about, you just use them, mm. just automatically. You don't think of it as being anything more than the thing you use all the time. But Sam just made a really ones. good point, actually. For those of you that are sand tanglers and you've got those lovely tiles, whether it's the big macro tiles or the smaller ones, um, if you're wondering what to do with them, apart from putting them in Sandra's books, obviously, make your own coffee table books full of your artwork. Well, your fancy that? day. Yeah, better believe it. I don't really have coffee table books. You've got a coffee table. You can have coffee table books for that. It's got... 
it doesn't really have books on it. It's got like the children's empty monster munch packets on it. Oh. Another <laughs> detritus that shouldn't be there. <laughs> Including three pairs of socks. If my children happen to be watching this, the living room is not the place for your socks. Please do put them in the laundry from now on. Thank you very much. This is a public information broadcast. <laughs> this is, this is uh, public. I, I'll be home at some point soon. Please remove your dirty socks from my living room. Thank you. Yes. Teenage boys, eh? Teenage boys. They're just funny teenage boys. Maybe teenage girls as well. I don't know. I've only got experience of the one. But good Lord. Good Lord. So what we got in that machine now then? We've got glitter. glitter we've got vellum. vellum. Glue. Glue. And a spine. And a spine. And it's been in there for nearly two minutes? Yeah, well, I forgot to turn it on because I was talking. Oh, OK. Which is why they employ me to be a demonstrator. OK. Really quick question from Collector in Northumberland. How much paper you use? Um, that's what we're being asked by quite a few people. How long's a piece of string? It depends on how thick well, the paper is. You've got to make sure it fits in the book, in the, in in the, the machine. Spine. So as, if it'll fit into that mouth of that machine, then you're fine. So there's a metal plate at the, plate at the bottom here, and that plate is quite thick. It's about, probably about two inches, but the gap here is less. So it can't be thicker than that. Your spine can't be thicker than the machine will take. So it depends. The ones for the We Are spines, that's half an inch. Right. So that would make your books half an inch wide. But um, if you but make your own spines, your own you glue, can make them. Glue sticks. Yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. see if this actually stuck with vellum. Oh, I've got to let it cool. I want to know if it's stuck. So this is the glitter card and vellum, which lots of you asked about. So we're just going to have a look at this. While that cools, do you want to have a little look at some of the American craft card stock we've got <laughs> available? My uh, favourite. Buy it head. Buy it head. <laughs> this is the place to buy it, honestly. We've always been the best value for money when it comes to American craft car stock. Elsewhere, you can pay around about $24.99 on average for uh, a, a complete collection of card stock. Now, they come in different themes. They come in different themes depending on the colours that you wish. Now, this is the primary card stock. And if I just show you the backs of the packets to start off with, you can see all the colours that you're getting there. There's 60 sheets in each of the boxes. And the boxes are quite unique, actually, and I love them for that because they, they allow you to have like a filing cabinet of your favourite American craft card stock. You basically cut the top. It's a perforated top. You remove the top of the box and leave the card stock in it because it then becomes like a... Uh, le what do you call them? Those? Um, is it a lever file? No. They've got a name, haven't they? The, the files that are that sort of shape. Oh, you're oh. talking about the ones that I keep my birth certificates in. Your what certificate? Lever arch. No, not lever arch file. My birth certificates. How many have you got? <laughs> Best not to ask a lady that question, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so if you want this one, $24.99, as I said to you before, that's the price that everywhere else seems to do American craft card stock. Uh, we are letting you have something that should be $24.99 today for £19.99. If you've got a cutting machine, do your cutting machine a favour, get American craft card stock because this is the best. It's got low chalk content, so it's not going to blunt your blade as quicker as other uh, card stock can. Now, I've just been told, as a little thank you, this wasn't planned, as a little thank you from Hobby Maker and it's New Year's Day, we're going to take a little bit more off that price. Already, it's a market-beating price at $19.99. So what we're doing as a way of saying thank you for us being so busy today and virtually selling out of the Thermal Cinch, it's still available at the moment, hanging on in there. Three, two, one. What can Cat Producer do today? An extra 20% off. Another two, oh no, 10% off, yeah. Two pound off, down to 17.99 for all of the, all of the variants, okay? Can I just say, for those of you who already know about the quality of AC cardstock, and you already know the magic that you get with AC cardstock, shop ahead while it's that price because they categorically told me they would not drop it from 19.99. I know. And they categorically said last time when they got it to 19.99, they would never drop it again. They were mad about the fact they did it last time. Well, so if they're letting you have it, grab it. Kat, my producer, has just said that she shouldn't have done that. But uh, uh, by way of saying thank you for uh, having an extraordinary busy afternoon. Yeah, we're giving you an extra 10% off, just because it's you. 17.99, TW4697, that is your 12 by 12, and that is the primary colours, if you want to go for that. That's always a very, very popular one. Um, another colourway we've got, we've got spring. Again, the easiest way to show you all the colours is to turn it around. So if you love your pastels, and in January and February when it's a bit dingy and all the celebrations are over and everybody's a little bit kind of, oh, roll on spring, this is going to give you spring in a box, isn't it? Really? It's beautiful, the spring. It's really gorgeous colours. If you, you look at the ones that are asterisk, that's the colours that are on the front of it. Uh, the, you know, they've made a sculpture, paper sculpture on the front of the box. You can see going through them how 
pretty they are. Each box is a little delight. Yes. I will say for those of you, like I say, who know AC cardstock, sorry, Dave, you're going to hate me for this. Shop ahead for your neutrals because they're the ones that always go first. Um, I know they'll come to them in a minute. I'm saying get on the website and find them because they're the ones that sell out the quickest. Do you want me to get you the neutrals? You don't have to. You can get to it when you get to it. Um, but I'm just saying shop ahead for your neutrals, for your blacks and your whites. Um, because I'll get to it when I get to, to it. Yeah. And jewel. Jewel is the other one that sells really fast. Jewel is quite an exclusive one, isn't it? It's quite hard to get. Jewel's jewel. really hard to get, yeah. but Jewel is the one that sells, sells, sells. Okay. Sorry, that, I know. That is spring. If you fancy spring, it's available 60 sheets and you've got that lovely linen texture on one side, smooth on the reverse side. You can see that linen texture really well. Again, we're going to drop it to 17 99 This is a New Year's Day offer. Next one, please. Tropical. Now, instantly, you're on holiday. Look, look at that. And like Carla <coughs> said, the image on the front, the paper cut image on the front shows you all the colours that are in there. Um, and you've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 colours. So you get three sheets of each colour. I don't even own that one. Don't you? Nope. That's 30, the only one I don't have. It's working out at 30 pence a sheet, but look at that colour. It's taking you to foreign climes, to sunny beaches, beautiful Ooh, beach sandy... Beach towels. Oh, yeah. Beach towels, Dave. Stunning. So that is your tropical. Again, $17.99, a little New Year's Day thank you from us to you. It should have been $19.99, uh, and that's what I thought it was going to be today. Now, uh, another one like the tropical, really. This is summer, so nice and bright and cheerful. Bright blues, bright yellows, bright greens. Lemon in there is lovely. You've got your beautiful shades of blue. Different shades of those colorways. Loads of you are shopping ahead of us. You've actually got all the color options on the website right now. Perfect to use in your books, in your thermal cinch, perfect to use in your cutting machines, perfect to use for mats and layers, whatever you want to use the cardstock for. Beautiful, SU4663. And do bear in mind, if you've bought something today, which thousands of you have since one o'clock, um, it's one PMP which you've already paid, 395 And you can have as many of these. I mean, can you imagine if you bought all of these, how much that would cost to send in the post? That would cost a small fortune. I'm not going to drop it on the desk. Everything will go flying. But yeah, we'll deliver it for 395 for the whole day's orders. So that one is your summer. And then we've got, is this the one? That's yeah, this the is one. the one you're talking about, the jewel. I don't know why it sells so fast. It sells incredibly fast. And funny enough, We've got less than 50 of jewel. If That's you all we've get got. the foil quill sheets, the, the jewel set of the foil quill sheets also is the fastest to sell as well. So you guys definitely have, uh, well, me as well, I suppose, a thing where we craft in similar tones. Opulent. How pretty they are. Look at the vivid colour of that octopus. It's absolutely superb. Let me just grab that. Uh, this is the colour of our producer's car, I think. It's almost somewhere between almost a cerise and a strawberry, isn't it? That. Look at that colour, isn't that amazing? Beautiful. And this, this is also a really lovely one. Look at this. I wouldn't mind a shirt in this colour. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Really it's vivid, so bright So vivid colours. and bright, yeah, absolutely. And again, it's the linen texture. It's a, a bit of a giveaway that it's American Craft Car Stock when you see that, absolutely lovely. I know other manufacturers do linen as well. Um, but low chalk tongue. Low chalk content. We've got 30 left if you want the jewel. I can see your That's screen is lit up again with names. We're the best place to buy cardstock from. Always. Or, do you know, funny enough, because I've, is it four years, five years I've been demonstrating AC cardstock? And literally, historically, every time I come to wear with it, it's always neutrals and jewel. This is, this is my favourite. I love, love, love this. If you've got dyes. Dave. I Dave, knew it. destructive that's, Dave. There's a that's lot of weight. Call, yeah. There's a lot of weight to this. Um, if you love your fur, your animals, all that sort of thing, and maybe landscape pictures and that sort of thing, you've got all your different shades of cream and yellow and taupe and coffee and mocha and chocolate, a little bit of grey in there as well. This is always a bestseller. Again, cutting machine owners, treat yourself. Animal got... fair, background, neutral tones for cards, neutral tones for house decor boxes envelopes, yep. all of the things, everything that we need for our basic crafting at the most luxurious kind of feel for craft. There is no better the cardstock than AC. No. In less, the industry. Less than 50, that's all we've got. If you want your neutrals, if you love all those shades of brown and taupe, uh, get on the phones, get on the website. ZD4696 is your item. And of course, perfect to use in conjunction with your thermal cinch as pages in your books and your your memory books and all that sort of thing, your planners and your journals. Okay, now next we've got winter. So if you prefer the cool tones, lots of blues, 
a few pinks in there, a few lavenders and lilacs, kind of icier colours, kind of frozen-like. I was just, I was trying to think of an analogy without actually saying frozen, but then you went, I, I, went I was trying it. to think of a reindeer with a snowman that melts. In, in the style of. Uh, CS4628 if you want your winter. I know lots of crafters that have got each one. They actually buy all of them. Uh, right, that is as low as we can go, and I wasn't expecting it to go any lower than 1999 today. I don't think it should have been, but we've done it as a bit of a treat because we've done. Uh, I begged so for busy. that. Hmm? I begged last week. Said, I'm not too proud to beg. I did said, beg. They said no. No. But today, they say, yeah. Well, actually, they may have said no, but Kat's just done it. So. Well, okay. Yeah. Thanks, Kat. Yeah. Uh, now, what we've got here are your earth tones. Now, these are different to the neutrals. You've got a a few yellows in here. We've got less than 20 of the earth tones remaining. And again, we have to ship this over. It's not coming from the States or anything like that. We put a big order in two, three times a year, probably. And it basically takes a couple of months to come over. When it's gone, it does take us a little while to get it back. So grab as many as you want at this extra. I mean, if you buy two or three, if you buy three, you've saved an extra six pounds. You've only got one PMP to pay for. You probably, if you bought three of these and took it to a post office, I reckon they'd charge you 10 quid to send it anyway. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the other side to it is go and tr try and find it and see how much you pay for this under normal circumstances, because as a rule, you're going to get AC card stock quite cheaply at 25 quid. Yeah. But here, you're getting it at 17.99. Do your price comparisons if you want to. We're the place to buy your cardstock from, from American Crafts. Then we have your pastel cardstock. So if you love the, the really kind of soft tones and soft shades. Look at that image on the front. Again, all the images on the front show you the colors that are inside. But I love the fact when these are on shelves, on bookshelves or something like that, you can actually see from the side all of the sheets that are in there. And because you've taken the top of the pack off, you can easily slide just one or two sheets out. So they keep protected and dust free, which is good. So that's $17.99 if you want the pastel. We've then got autumn. And of course, with autumn, you think of oranges and browns and golds. There's plenty of those colors in there. Flip it round. Oranges for Halloween and that sort of thing. TB4628. TB4628, if you want that one, that's your autumn. Then we have the brights. Bright and cheerful. There we go. There's your brights. That's Bright and bold. That's my favourite pack. Mm? It's my favourite pack. Is it? The brights? That's my apps. That and summer are my two favourite packs, yeah. Yeah, bright and cheerful. I love them. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they are vibrant. Look. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? And we will get it to your door as quickly as possible. They're all in our warehouse. You haven't got to wait. You haven't got to wait a week or two to get it. It will be on its way as soon as you purchase it today. QZ4643. And then lastly, finally, Noir, the black. Now, this does have, oh, actually, yes, it does. It does have a linen texture, the black. It does. Yeah, just like all, all the others. All AC cardstock, all AC cardstock is smooth on one side, well, as in the normal, smooth yeah. on one side and it's textured on the other. Yes. That's across the board as far as their sort of normal coloured cardstock is concerned. Obviously, once we get into pattern papers, it's different, but that's for that. Yeah, you can see the linen texture there, actually, Mary. Thanks, thanks for the question. If I turn that over. Smooth on the other side. Smooth on that side. That means one side's perfect for stamping, one side is perfect for adding visual context when we're doing stuff. So there's the texture side, okay. Now we've gone through all of the colours of the American Craft cardstock. Um, they are now today only $17.99. After midnight tonight, our system will take it right back up to $19.99. You might think to yourself, uh, well, that's a two quid off, big deal, what's two quid? Um, yeah, but they should be $24.99. So that's a seven pound saving off what other people are charging for exactly the same product. Yep. Most popular product colour, or most popular card colour, is Jewel. We've got less than 20 Always of is. Jewel left. Where is Jewel? There we Jewel go. Jewel and neutral. It's just That's your Jewel one. we absolutely love. It's the colours, isn't it? It's so, because there's so many projects we can make. And I think also, especially in winter, we start to look for, especially when all the fun from winter has gone. So you've got Christmas out of the way, New Year, we have that funny period where it's just a bit gray and miserable, isn't it? And so color tones like this are just incredibly pleasing when we craft, because it means we're crafting in brighter times. So we're starting to think ahead. We're starting to think about spring coming up. We're starting to think about all the flowers starting to come up. You know, we're getting to that time. I noticed this morning, have any of you at home notice that it's starting to get a little bit lighter a little bit earlier. yeah 
Yeah, true. Just a little. A little bit, tiny bit each day. Uh, so, Jill, if you want it, we've got less than 20 remaining, and it may be a little while before we can get it back in. Hopefully, we can get stock in quite quickly, but it depends on how fast the ship moves. Really? Simple as that. Get out there and get it paddling, Dave. <laughs> OK, um, right. XC4605. Oh, yeah. How does the glitter in the vellum story work? Let's out? find out. Let's do the things. Why they trust me with a guillotine? I'll never know. <laughs> well, I right. did wonder. Let's find out live together. So we've got it here. I put the vellum at the front, didn't I? Just one second. So it's held. Yeah, I don't love that for it, though. I don't think it loved the vellum. Right. Well, it didn't love the front of the vellum. It's held the glitter really nicely. Really nicely on the glitter. I don't think it loved vellum, guys. Right. I think you would need to put your vellum onto a piece. Onto the actual card itself. Hold on. Is it or is it? No, listen, I don't think it does have a problem with vellum. I'm going to destroy this. Can you see this? Yeah. Can you see where the glue stops? Yeah. It stops there, and that's the bit that hasn't stuck. So I actually don't think it does have a problem with vellum because it's held it really nicely there. I think it's where my glue was ill-positioned. So uh, can, can you should, remember I kept saying to you, I think I've got too many pages in here. Yeah, yeah. I think I have too many pages in. I don't think it has a problem with vellum. I don't think it has a problem with glitter saccade. I think it has a problem with too many pages. If you Can you see that on, either on the overhead? Who am I better on overhead or two? Where do you want me? We'll go for two. Can you see how I've got a triangle happening here? Ah, right. I've got too many pages in it. That's okay. my error, not machine error. I've got too many sheets in it. So make sure so you don't overload it. I've, I've overloaded it. If the spine was to sit, it would need to sit lower. So I'd say I've probably got about four or three sheets, too many of glitter cardstock in there. Yes, it holds vellum. Yes, it holds glitter. Not if you put too much in it. Thank you. Brilliant. Well, it's that's nice doing it live on air, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can all see together what's happening and what's not, because I think it's important. That's a couple of questions answered in one go. So thank you for the questions. And the answer is, yeah, go ahead. Uh, Lisa in West Yorkshire. Hi, guys. Can you use construction board in the thermal cinch? Great demo, great prices. So excited for all my goodies to arrive. Liam, don't work too hard at home. You won't, I'm sure. Liam owes me a steak making a sausage roll. I'm just saying. <laughs> board, mount board. We're going to do that as the next experiment for this. Okay. Uh, when we, we do come to it. It's not designed for it, but I'm going to show you how to use okay. it. Okay, well, we'll take a short break at this point and kind of regroup and work out what we're uh, on. We've got 5% of the bundle ah. left. Now, what happens, obviously, when we had that influx of, of people wanting the thermal cinch at one o'clock, some people get distracted, some people go out, leave it in their basket and forget they've done it, change their mind. We have got 5% of the existing stock. Whatever you do, check that basket out. NTXC. NTXC 59, NTXC 59 for 149 pounds, 99 pence, you're getting everything. You're getting all of those fantastic spines. You're getting all, hang on, just pick them up. We're gonna take the bundle apart fairly soon. We've got a picture of it so you can see. You get all these wonderful spines, you get all the glue strips as well. We've got 5% left, not counting everybody that has it in their baskets already. So check out those baskets during the break. We'll come back. There's more American crafts to come. First day of the year. What an amazing day it's been. And we're with you live till five. five four. Shopping with Hobbymaker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.hobbymaker.co.uk where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your craft room essentials to paper, tools, cutting machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Hobbymaker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Hobbymaker. Alternatively, you can call our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker. Here at Hobbymaker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and checkout and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the combine order button. Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker. 
thermal cinch makes it so easy to bind a book. We obviously are known for book binding tools. We have the, the regular cinch, the, the mini cinch. We have all of these different book binding tools. This one I would say by far the easiest to use. You turn on the machine, it heats up, put your binding on, stick it in there, and in a matter of minutes you have your bound book and uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with our brand new Hobbymaker app. Head over to your app store now and search Hobbymaker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today's button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. So never miss a show by watching On The Go with our brand new Hobbymaker app. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobbymaker. Registering for a Hobbymaker account on our website couldn't be easier. Head over to hobbymaker.co.uk and click on register now. Type in your preferred email address, create a password of your choice and we just ask you for a few simple details. Click on create account and then away you go. Within your account setting you can view your order history, address and card details and items in your basket. Shopping made easy with Hobbymaker. New year, new hobby, absolutely, and lots of brand new customers to Hobbymaker today. Great to know you're watching. Thank you for all the lovely messages and questions you've been sending in. And I think that's what I think um, Hobbymaker is so unique at, is, okay, yeah, other channels can invite questions and get them answered, but we do it all the time, every day. Uh, and if you just type a message to us, if you go to hobbymaker.co.uk, or you can go to our app, you can do it that way as well. It says message the studio, just there, that little box there underneath the blue banner. Um, and then just type your message in, simple as that. It's instant. So you push send. Hi, Dave. Oh, you're not signed in. <laughs> you've, got, you've got to be signed into your account to do it. Uh, but basically, press send. That goes straight through to our cat, our producer, and she can then put it on the screen. I can see the question. Carla can 
obviously answer it. Now we've had, oh, a lovely, lovely message from Oh, Chastity. no, the boss is watching. The boss is watching. Hello, Chastity. Um, will you accept my Facebook request? Thank you. Um, Happy New Year, Oh, Hob Chastity. I only, I only asked her yesterday. I only asked her yesterday. Chastity, don't do it. <laughs> Happy New Year, Hobby Maker friends. Thank you, my love. The Thermal Sink is my favorite new tool from the We Are Makers. Uh, you're going to love it too. Thank you, Chastity. Chastity is, is um, she's our, our contact and, and the, 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 the big cheese uh, at We Are Makers she, in America. She class. is the big cheese, she but is. she's just the most awesome, very funny human. So yeah, sometimes I forget <laughs> that she is the boss. I'm doing a very professional job when I did not talk about Dave and his chaps at all, Chastity. <laughs> 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 She definitely won't accept my favourite request. <laughs> not, not anymore, no. Um, but Chassis, just to let you know, it looks like it's going to sell out probably the next half an hour. We've got literally 25 machines left and Liam will be in touch very soon to get some more. So yeah, it's gone very, very well this afternoon. Right, now, in qu oh, uh, another question quickly from Helen in Buckinghamshire. Hi, Carla, David, everyone at Hobby Maker. Do we know when the glue strips will be back in stock? Amazing demos. Thank you, Carla. Helen Inbox. Liam has said he's going to try and fly them over so it won't be long at all. OK, if you've got the main bundle, you've got a pack in there that should last you a little while. Um, but yeah, we should get them probably in. I would have thought weeks. something somewhere between two to four weeks if we're flying them over. Right. Um, it could be quicker. I, I, I wouldn't have thought quicker than two weeks, certainly with New Year. Um, when is the Chinese New Year? Because that holds certain things up in certain ports as well. So, mm -hmm. but it's it's one consumable. We are one hundred percent, one million percent getting back in, not to worry at all. Um, and so we will have them. It was that's why I was saying to everyone at the beginning, grab your glue yeah. strips because they're a really lovely consumable to have. And we did buy an awful lot yeah, we did of huge. the machine, the bundle, and of course all the extra, the spines and the glue strips as well. So we'll do our best to get it back as quickly as possible. Chastity will make sure that happens, I'm sure. Right now, who was it that asked about the grey board? Loads of people, okay. <laughs> Everyone. Right. Now, first and foremost, we must stress, this machine is designed for, um, for softbacks, not hardbacks. But there are some little things that you can do well, to modify it. Let me just explain. So for those of you who might have just joined us, when we're talking about thermal binding, it's a very specific type of binding. And it's obviously industrial binding. It's meant for the books that we buy in WH Smith, those kind of things. So uh, it's, it's, what's Chelsea said? I'll reserve some stock. Thanks, Chelsea. So what <laughs> we're making. Talk about interactive. I know, that's all the way from Utah. Um, so what we're making essentially, uh, I haven't made this by the way, I stole it from Hobby Maker um, or from Jewelry Maker, which is even worse. Uh, so this is a thermally bound book, okay? So that is thermal binding. It's what you would find if you went and bought, you know, a, a novel from WH Smith, that's thermal binding. Yeah. Now it's designed for soft pages. However, you will know that hardback books can also be thermally bound, but there's an extra step when we're doing thermal binding and, uh, on hardbacks, and this doesn't have it, nor does any thermal machine. You have to have an extra machine called a crimper. And you, you, you put your book, you thermally bind it, then you put that thermally bound book through a crimping machine, and it gives you this triangle at the top. So you get this different shape. Now, the reason being is, if can you see down here, you've got that line, and one at the other side that runs. It it's literally crimps that together. And that is holding those. It means that when I've got my hardback book, because I've got that spine column that's being created by the crimping machine, I can then open it and it will lay flat, all right? Mm -hmm. So that is why this machine doesn't do that. It, it is a thermal binding machine. It's not a crimping machine. I don't like being told I can't do things. I haven't perfected this. It's not designed for this. But I did sit and I was like, there's got to be a way of doing hardback books. Can I? So I created I a little that. wooden book that I cut into a shape of a dog kennel. You can see it's not perfect, but I did it in wood. OK, so I laser cut some wood and I did the little paw prints and I did the reverse colorings on it. And I was like, well, I can't crimp wood it's the one thing I knew I would never be able to get to flex, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why I wanted to do it with this, is because I wanted to see, can I still do it and get a nice inside? And the truth of the matter is you can. It's not perfect and it's not without fault. There has to be some more kind of going with it. Now, I think you'll have more luck using um, 
mount board because it's got a flex, yeah. right? So if I take, let's get rid of those gemstone box before I, I get a new hobby that I, I don't. I did a show the other day actually with um, with Kilo Keith Paper Dynamics, and we had some grey board, and I was talking about this machine coming up. So an awful lot yes. of people probably will want to use it for this. So it's not designed for hard no. box. Well, it is, but you'd need to buy a crimping machine, same as you would with any you know thermal binder. So if I take some mount board, this is the A4 stuff, yeah. and if I just pull that through so that I've got my two pieces. Great sound. Do you like that noise? Yeah, that sound is so good. So satisfying. I love my We Are Guillotine. I've got quite a thing for my We Are Guillotine. If I've got my two pieces, which would make my back and my front cover, the first thing I do know for a fact is I would be very unlikely to use my spines, and that's for a reason. Now, if I was just doing it with this, with the mount board, mine's flexible. It's not, it's not thick, thick, but it's a good cover. Mm -hmm. So if I was just doing it with that, I'd be fine with my spines. If this was any thicker and any less forgiving, I'm going to have to work with it in a different way. So I'm gonna pretend that this is really thick. If it's as thin as this and you've got that flex on it, keep working the way we've been working. That'll just work as a standard cover, not a problem. Score it, give it that extra little wiggle and it'll be fine. If however, this is an unforgiving product, you're gonna to have to change the way that you craft with it. Can I so, just interrupt you for a second? Yep. We've got 18 ah. thermal cinch bundles left. That is it, Yeah. 18. That's selling out. So if it's in your basket and it's not checked out, check out now. <laughs> NTXC 59, it's gonna, it's gonna go any minute now. So the next 18 of you check out and you'll be lucky. And if you're watching a replay, uh, phone the call center, sometimes people change their mind and cancel their order. It's always worth a phone call, it's a free phone number, 0800 001 4433. Uh, yeah, it, we've got 18 left, that's it. I think it's unlikely you'll get this bundle again anytime soon. Um, <laughs> it's just there's so much stuff with it and you wouldn't, hey, oh, and you wouldn't normally get that much stuff. So uh, it's quite the thing. Right, so if I'm doing something that's got an unforgiving outer surface, it's very, very hard backed. I'm gonna have to change, I'm gonna have to reverse the way I do the spine. This is what I've come to the conclusion so far on my own. This is not a We Are Memory Capers demo, by the way. This is me in my little ferret brain. So if I've got a spine that is, say, six inches, I'm just playing because that's the piece of uh, cardstock that I've got. This is six inches. I'm going to have to work out, first of all, I know that that's my midpoint because that's my three. If I want this book to be half an inch, I've got to work out on each side. So let's say that that is going to be my score line there. And then that's... That's going to be there, right? That's my spine. So I'm okay with that. I know where my spine, spinal column, if you like, is going to be. So if I remove my scoreboard and I just gently break those fibers there. Now mine's going to crack, but I'm okay with that. Now, if I was to do this normally as a spine, I would put my glue strip in the middle. I'd chuck that there and I'd chuck that there, right? Mm -hmm. I can't do that with this. If it's an unforgiving product, I can't do it that way, all right? What I'm gonna have to do is this, and you'll see why when you get it home and you start playing, in case you think I'm going that way of madness. I went that way of madness a long time ago. So if I pull this down here onto my spine, same way as before, I'd also put another strip here. I'm not gonna worry about it for demo's sake, but I'd put another strip there just to attach it to the beginning point. And then again here, Okay, so same, same difference so far. But then what I would want to do is take this, take this off. Obviously, you're going to glue this much better than I'm doing right now. This is where I need that widget tool, Dave. You where need it takes that wheel makers liner. take back remover tool. The problem with doing We Are shows is that I could effectively bring every single We Are tool that I own with me and find a use for all of it and still... There wouldn't be room for you in the car then. <laughs> I'd have to buy a, a wagon. Hey, oh, I've got all kinds of stuff going on here. Bye, heck. Oof, got me in a fluster then. Right, spine. Thither and thither, so roughly speaking, okay? So this is the same process that we've done so far. I haven't changed anything yet. Thither and thither. This is roughly speaking. Obviously, these would be beautifully decorated, but that's possibly going to be wood or it's going to be very, very thick chipboard, right? Okay. If I try and put glue there, I've got no give when I open that book. Everything's going to fall to pieces, which is why we have that crimp, right? We mm -hmm. have that crimp down the spine here and that allows it to stick together. 
I can't have that in this instance. So what I'm going to do is invert the process. I'm going to put the glue there. I'm going to make sure my spine is defined there. Can you see? Yep. Okay, so now my, my spine is, is completely done. My glue is going to go in the middle. My pages are going to go in the center. Okay. On the inside. My, so I'm inverted. My yeah. spine is on the inside, not on the outside of my book. The glue is going to go into the middle of my spine here, the same way it would normally, and it's going to heat my pages to it. But what's going to happen is where I created my score line there, this page is going to open on that score line. Mm -hmm. So it'll open like that. I've now got a giving point on my unforgiving element. What's going to happen is <coughs> I'm then going to have a showing at the side, and I'll show you what I mean here, where the glue is, and I'm going to have a little crack in my book. So what I'm then going to do is cover that with a cover sheet. Mm -hmm. And that's going to cover all of my workings. So that gives me a really beautiful hard bound book that I wouldn't normally be able to achieve with a thermal binding machine. So although the thermal binding machine is not made for doing it's not made for it. that is a cheat's way around it. It's a cheat's way. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. I know that there is a way of perfecting it. I just don't know what it is yet. So give me a couple of weeks. By the time we come back with this machine, I should have perfected it. I should know how to do it. Mm. But there's not an awful lot about thermal binding on the internet because as far as I can work out, it's only we are that have brought it out as a craft product. Yes, it's an industrial it's process. It's an industrial yes. process. And this, don't be foiled, this is an industrial machine. Mm. This, it looks pretty, of course it looks pretty, it's we are. But actually take the bare bones of that, it is an industrial machine made to do an industrial job. So consequently, there's not an awful lot about crafting. And so that rabbit hole that I would normally go down doesn't exist yet, but it will. It now, will. The next 10 of you to check your baskets out, seven <laughs> now. It was 10 a few seconds ago. It's now seven machines left with that bundle. Here it is. This is the bundle that you're going to get. Remember, you're going to get six die cut spines in addition to the thermal cinch and the three spines in the box. You're going to get six of the florals, six of the retro spines, six of the neutral, six of the rainbow, six of the spines with the labels on them, 12 glue strips, stencil bookmarks and tassel bookmarks all in there. And that combined value for the accessories at the full price is 112.91. So that means, six left now, that means that basically for about 38 quid, you're getting the cinch machine because the accessories should be 112 pound 91. With our discounted launch prices today, it comes to 73.91 worth of accessories you're getting with it. So it's like you're paying just 75 pounds for your cinch, your thermal, binding cinch machine. Absolutely incredible. Congratulations if you've got yours. And I can say something which um, I'm really quite chuffed about and also I'm not surprised. One o'clock this afternoon is now officially the busiest hour in hobby makers history. What a year. What a way to start a year. It's not good for me having this much excitement, Dave. <laughs> It's the most successful hour Hobbymaker has ever, ever had since it started. And we've had some big hours. So thanks, everybody, for making that the case. Can I just say well. thank you to Dan for providing me with the sausage rolls? Can I also say that, Liam, you did not? Where did you get that from? Stole it. Got any more? No? Only one. Share? I'll go, I'll go twos up with you, Dave. We'll do thirds. I'll have two thirds. You have one. All right, you're on. I've got a longer you're drive on. than you. Ah, right. Now... Oh, now, oh, oh I do. Scissors. I've got mine. Now, these scissors, I mean, to get excited about a pair of scissors seems a bit strange, but these are remarkable scissors. And any crafter, any professional crafter demonstrator that you see has always, in my opinion, got these in their cart or in their uh, tote bag because they are multi-purpose and they are the best quality. And the price is ridiculous. Cutter, why do you love yours so much? Oh, don't even get me started, Dave. Honestly, I, I could do hours on the Cutter B scissors. They're my favourite. And... Be <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kat. Um, and because... Because it, scissors are really, really important. You know, I always say glue is sticky. You don't need much glue. Glue is sticky. Scissors are important. That would be my next line on my T-shirt. Scissors are important. 
because they change the way that things look aesthetically. If you've got good scissors, you'll have a good cut. It's as simple as that. It doesn't get any more complex than that. It's just you need a good pair of scissors. Cutter bees are the best scissors I've ever used. And I've got to tell you, I would say at least 90% of the demonstrators I know, regardless of which company they work for, mm. have a pair of those in their basket. They are in Incredible. Well, we've got 22 five-star reviews on our website right now from people. Um, this is what amazes me. People who actually spend the time and take <laughs> the time and make the effort, which we're really grateful for, to review them. Yep. They're that impressed with them. They leave a review. So thank you ever so much if you're one of them. And these are also supplied by American Crafts. Yeah, absolutely. So it's, uh, they are, well, yeah, they are American Crafts. Of course they are. It's EK Success. So for those of you who don't know, American Crafts is a great big umbrella. And inside that umbrella sits, we are Memory Keepers, EK Success, various different other companies EK success provides uh, the, the cutter bee scissors it's not we are memory keepers it is EK success but it's all American crafts yeah. so they come they're very iconic in this color and yet they've been around for a long long time so they're iconic obviously because they've got the bumblebee colors which we love very much comes with a sheath now why does it come with these you don't need them and most of us lose them but actually it's kind of symbolic and they're there because these are sharp look at the point on those bad boys mm. These are not play scissors. These are not for litlies. These are your crafting gold. And once you start using cutter bees, it's very difficult to go to any other brand because they're so sharp and they stay sharp. And it's very difficult when we're cutting with paper for any scissors to stay sharp for any length of time. Last time I did a show with these color, I think it was with you, um, most people I noticed on the screen that I can see in the studio were buying two. Because obviously when you're buying scissors, keep one for paper, keep the other one for threads and fabric and stuff like that. Yeah, well, I think these normally retail out. I can't remember what they normally retail out. Thirteen ninety nine. There you go. Thirteen ninety nine on Amazon. On, on that right well now. known River website, we can show you actually. There they are. Look. There you go. On the Zon. Yep. On the so Zon. Thirteen ninety nine on the Zon. And actually, there there are. And you can see there. Can we just take a moment to say four thousand two hundred and fifty three five star ratings. ratings? Wow. Not for nothing. Not for nothing. They are the best scissors in the industry. Now, when we when we do them, sometimes we drop these down to nine ninety nine. And when we do drop them down to nine, I always say to everyone, get two pairs: one for fabric, one for uh, paper. Alternatively, one for paper, one for anything that's sticky. So if you're cutting red liner tape, that kind of thing, keep those separate. Do you know, do you know what? Well, they should have gone down to 11.99, but now you've said that, they're going to go down to 9.99. <laughs> Just to Thank you, Carla. You Thank Carla for that. That was not going to be the price, but it is now because she said it. We can't ask for more if she said 9 99 so They're there you just go. worth the have and and it's funny because I've bought so many scissors from different companies. I've got a brand of scissors that I have in my kitchen that you'll all know. I don't think I'm allowed to say the name, but I might say it anyway. I've got Wilkinson Sword orange handle kit scissors in my kitchen. I think most people do. Certainly my parents and my grandparents always have them. I don't know why. Those big orange ones, and they're brilliant in the kitchen. They're not good for crafting. Mm -hmm. These are incredible. Now, I don't know how close you can get, but when I go here and I open these up, this one has got a tiny, little curvature now you're asking a lot carla dan's a little bit fragile today so he's getting in <laughs> there a look tiny, at this. let me just while that camera's there let me just swivel this around slowly can you see the wee curvature yeah it's just got a tiny little bend in the end now where i've got that there they go together they pince a movement can you see that's the difference that's why these scissors <coughs> are the best in the industry because that level of cutting is insane. Now, last time it we had these on a show, we sailed in excess of 200 in literally a couple of minutes. And the same thing's happening here now. My screen is completely full again. Many of you taking Carla's advice, going for two pairs, one for paper, one for fabric or thread. Sticky. And you wanted them for 9.99? What? They're not 9.99 today. I they love them. They, they should have been 11.99. New Year's Day is fabulous. My sheet says 11.99. Well and when you said 9 99 I thought, oh, someone's going to be in trouble. Carla, basically. But that, <laughs> but that is not... Blame on me. That is not... Brother. I thought, oh, what she said that for. Um, new year, new scissors. There you go. Ten seconds, and we're going even lower. I don't, have we been lower than 9 99 ever? Hmm. I haven't seen it. 
Okay, 999 is brilliant because it's New Year's Day. Happy New Year, boom. I love a price crush me. I do too. Good grief. Right, 6 get three pairs while they're 6 <laughs> That is it. We can't go any lower than that. That's ridiculous. What were they on that Zon website again? 13.99. For one. Yeah, so you can almost buy two pairs for the price of one with us. So if you get, if, certainly if you do soft craft, so you've got paper, you've got um, sticky and you've got fabric. The other side of it is, let's be frank, scissors ain't going off. So if you buy two pairs while they've got a stupid price, you've got them in the next three, four years, you know, so you, you can use them further down the line. Because in three, four years, we know with inflation, they're not going to be that How price. long have they been around for? Uh, to have been a long for time. It's, uh, I think Chaz just said, there she goes. Same oh, pairs of custom yeah. for over 20 years. My go-to crafting tool, and they are gold, like Carla said. That's Chazity. So Chazity is the big cheese at We Are Memory Keepers. So she knows what she's talking about. And let's face it, We Are brought out lots of scissors. All of them, I have to say, epic. None of them, the cutter bees. And that's not to say anything against other We Are scissors, because I love them, and I use different ones for different things. The cutter bees. The reason cutter bees are so important to me, and the reason they're different, where my point is, I've got a habit which I've had and we're taught this as children. When we're cutting with scissors, we're taught to cut at the point that the scissors cross. It's just something we learn when we're little. We cross. And I think that's partly to do with, yeah, blunt scissors in, craft, in, 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 you know, in classrooms. And that's your strongest point on your scissors because it's where you're getting the scissor action. Mm -hmm. And actually, most scissors are designed to have the sharp points there. That's why we get that little curvature in the steel where it goes round. You can just see that little curvature here, that change in point. And it's where it's sharpened. And that's, that's wonderful. And that's a really important part. And we always like to have those sharp pieces there. However, the way cutter, uh, cutter bees change things is they've got the sharp tip with that pincer movement. That means I can get into ultra fine detail. Boy. So I can start to take these and I can change Chip. We have got a massive audience today. Hundreds of you checked out already. And there's a queue on the phone lines at the moment. Some of you have actually gone for as many as five pairs. I'm yeah, not, I don't blame not surprised you. at this price, at $6.99. So where I would have, if I'm doing this and I'm trying to do a curve, I've got less control. I've got to keep kind of pincer in that round. If I'm going to do the tips and I'm just gonna work in. I can, with ultra fine detail, just control my snips. Can you see? So I can take the tiniest little pieces. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Let me just separate that out so you can see. Can you see? There's this tiny, tiny little snippet on my fingertip. And I can get that with that kind of precision. So if I want to cut between something, I absolutely can. Let me just see where I've put that. Oh, it dropped been, it, is that small? Just been told we've got a two minute wait on our calls at the moment. So please, the phone call is free. It's not costing you a penny. So if you're on hold, they'll get to you as quickly as possible. 0800 001 4433. But do remember, now's a good time to actually try the app or try the website. The website, of course, is hobbymaker.co.uk. The app, if you haven't got it on your phone, just download it from whoever you get your apps from, whether it's Apple or whether it's Android, doesn't matter. It's there for you. And you can actually order on that very easily and you can message us on the app as well and the app's cool the app's really good i really like the app mm. i've got to tell you sorry i just cut in <laughs> i got waylaid don't waylay me with the things because if you put a pair of scissors in my hand i am literally four you can see all these tiny little pieces that i've got coming off here now why does that become important in our finished product well it matters because when we're able to get that precision obviously we can get a nicer cut if i was to try and cut a steak with a butter knife i'm not going to do the best job of it if i'm going to cut a steak with a steak knife it's going to go hopefully better through it if i cut a steak with a kitchen knife a proper japanese lovely kitchen knife that's going to slice through a steak like butter this is going to slice through paper like butter it's going to slice through fabric like butter but you've got to keep them separate. Please, please, please never mix and match fabric scissors with paper scissors. They don't like each other. Mark it with a Sharpie to say one is paper, one is fabric, or one is sticky. I'm going to tell you from my point of view, and this is me being an absolute hypocrite, um, I would never advise using cutter bees on sticky. 
I use mine on sticky stuff all the time, but I've got about 68 pairs of these. Right. Um, so it does, that doesn't matter to me. I've got a pair that's designated for sticky. The reason being is you can get really cheap, really cheap scissors that will cut through sticky at any time of the day. So I'd be more inclined to use them for your paper and your fabric. I've got to let you know, um, we are even busier than the last time that we had uh, the cutter bees on. We are so, so busy this afternoon. Less than 100 left now. Ah. And we started with many, many, many more than that. <laughs> and I can actually see on my screen, one crafter has actually bought 18. Yeah, don't know your name, sense. but there's 18 going to one crafter. Uh, we've got people who are buying five or four. Yeah, I mean, if you do workshops, crafting workshops, and you have to supply tools for your crafters to use, you know, they, when they pay their fee to come to the workshop, um, you're very often everything's supplied for you, isn't it? So if you, if you do that, or you fancy that, or you just want them for yourself, treat yourself. I can't remember them ever being 6 99 I've not seen that before. CAA... Oh, no, is it CA4683? CA4683. Uh, we will get to you on the call centre. They will be with you in a matter of minutes. Just stay there. It's not going to cost you anything. Even if it's on the mobile phone that you're using, it's a free phone number. Marion uh, Marian Sheila in Bedfordshire says, can I ask, is Hobby Maker Shows put on YouTube so I can watch after seven days? Yes, all of our shows should be on YouTube as well. Yeah. So if you go to the YouTube um, the, the, the YouTube app and type in Hobby Maker or Hobby Maker TV, it brings up everything that is for Hobby Maker and consistently since it first came out. So all of the shows since Hobby Maker first ever started are all still on YouTube now. And of course They're on not... our app, you can watch back up to seven days. So you can watch the shows That's on the back. actual website, can't you? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, and on the app too. So yes, I was watching something like the other day. So yeah, very simple, very easy to do. Uh, so if you get in, I know loads of people have said to me in the past that you know they don't, they work during the day or they can't watch during yeah. the day. They get in in the evening and then watch the one o'clock show at like seven o'clock in the evening. You can do that on the website. You can do that on the app as well. Uh, we're only here with you till five o'clock today because it is New Year's Day. So we're having a bit of an earlier finish. Tomorrow, we're back to normal. One till eight every single day uh, throughout the week, seven days a week at Hobby Maker. But today we're finishing in about an hour's time. But we've got still more We Are Makers to come. We've got uh, the Big Bite to come, which if you've not seen that, you're going to absolutely love. The Cropodile, another hero tool. Everyone I know that's got a cropper dial has had it for about 15 years and it still looks as good and still works as well as the first day they bought it so if you're wondering what that's all about I think we're taking a break at this point yeah but we will take a break and we'll come back with the final hour of the day with Carla and me soon Hobby Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and checkout and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the combine order button. Shopping made easy at Hobby Maker. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with our brand new Hobby Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Hobby Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today's button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, 
product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. So never miss a show by watching On The Go with our brand new Hobby Maker app. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to crafting or a seasoned pro, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 1pm to 8pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. What a day. It is confirmed that one o'clock this afternoon was in the history of Hobby Maker, our most successful hour and busiest hour ever. Thank you ever so much for making that happen. It's all due to the thermal cinch, which has now our customer service team tell us completely sold out. We can't put the details back on the screen. It's gone. There are no more. But having said that, we're live at five past four just after. Um, sometimes people change their mind for whatever reason. Maybe sometimes people buy two or buy one for themselves and one for someone else. And that person says, oh, I don't want that. And then they cancel the order. So it's always, if you're watching this back on demand, maybe at 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, midnight, whatever, always worth giving the call centre a call. There may be one that jumps back in stock. Or you can give the call centre a call and put it on your wish list. And as and when stock gets in, you'll get a call from the call centre to say it's available. Do you want to order one? So that's another thing you can do uh, if you go through to the call centre. Right. Now, still we are makers and still American crafts. A little while ago, I did a show, um, and I'd never, see, I'd never seen this before. I'd seen the crocodile before, which we're going to come to in a few minutes' time, but I'd never seen this before. And you look at it, you think, what, is it a stapler? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's not a stapler. This is the ultimate punch. Again, with very much journaling in mind, all that sort of thing where you want to maybe put jump rings through holes, you want to put maybe ribbon through holes. But normally, you can't get into the middle, say, of a 12 by 12 sheet with a hole punch because you haven't got enough jaw for the hole punch to get that far. But with a big bite, you've got six inches, which means that in a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock or card or whatever it might be, you could get that hole right in the center. Now, obviously with this, you expect it to be a bit of a price because it's so well made. It's got a bit of weight to it. I mean, it's strong, it's sturdy. People I know that own the crocodile have had there sometimes, some of them like 15 years, and it's still going strong. I mean, Carla, you've got both. I mean, they're brilliant tools. I'm a big, a big, big fan of all of We Are's, the crocodile, the big bite, the chomper, all of the things I've got, all of them. This bad boy has been with me for years. It's absolutely tatty. It's it, honestly, this would love to get away from me. I abuse this tool like you would not believe and have done for years. And, that, and that's you the wouldn't crocodile. really know this is the crocodile. So this is like the baby brother. The big bite is the big brother. And they are just awesome to use. They've got little mecha locking mechanism on it. So they're compact and neat for when we're traveling around. And I'll go through everything with you because it can look complex. It's not, it's not remotely complex, but it can look complex. They both work pretty, pretty much in a similar way. But I've said this before loads of times because I've got loads of tools that I just use all the time. I don't actually pretty much go anywhere without my crocodile. Mm. So I have one when I come here in my bag and I've always got one on my desk and I've always got my big bite as well. OK, now the big bite. Let me give you details of both the big bite and also the fantastic eyelets that we've got as well, because this will pu uh, punch the hole 
but it will also let you set the eyelets where the hole is, so it will reinforce the hole that you've punched, okay? So the big bite is here, details on how it works in a second, but it will make the hole and it will set your eyelets for you. That's all you need to know at this stage. If this is something you wish for, let us give you the price for this. You can change the actual size of eyelet that you actually put into the machine. You can change the size of hole that you use as well. And we'll go through exactly how to do that with Carla soon. But if you know it's something that's been on your wish list for a while, you know it's something that you'd like. I mean, if you are a journal maker, a bookmaker, uh, you'd make your own calendars or anything like that, and you want to have a professional hole puncher and eyelet setter. Elsewhere, this is on sale for $59.99. And the minute you pick it up, <laughs> you can really tell it's a tool of quality. And you can adjust where that hole is anywhere from just inside the cardstock right the way up to six inches to the center of a 12 by 12 sheet. And it's not just cardstock, it's things like gray board as well. The price today for this and everything else we are is flying. Uh, $39.99 for this, and you will probably have yours for the next 15, 20, 25 years because they're designed to last. They're designed to stand the test of time. PC4620. Um, Marion's in already. Now, that is what does the setting of the eyelet. You can see that there's a little hole, two holes a little bit further up. That's what does the punching of the hole, and the bit that's like a rounded dome, that's the area where you'll set and press your eyelets. Now, before these sell out, we haven't got masses of stock of the eyelets. I just want to give you this before Carla starts to demonstrate and shows you how the machine works. It will allow you to do different eyelets of different sizes, and you're going to get every size of eyelet that will work in the big bite, and they can also work into the cropper dial as well. Now, look at these. You get 11 sets of eyelets in different colors, in different decorative widths, um, and you've got, I don't know how many that is in total, but that's a lot. That's 495 eyelets. You've got blues, you've got silvers, you've got blacks, you've got uh, purples, you've got tiny ones, you've got large ones. Everything you need, and this should last you a long, long, long time, 78.89, is not your price today. Let's get that price down. And if you want to stock up on your eyelets, if you've got a cropper dial, if you've got a big bite and you want to get the eyelets while we've got this great offer, look at what we can do with these. $34.99, better than half price. If you want all of those eyelets, that is your price right now if you're quick. We have, how many do we have, Kat? Got a few more, okay, just under, we're in double figure stock, so just under 100 available if you're quick, 34 pounds and 99 pence, but it's every shape and color you want. Look how pretty they are. Can you see them on the desk? They're my babies. Can you see if Ooh. I just move these across? Is that not really beautiful? I'm going to talk to you in a second about why the We Are eyelets are so different from the cheap knockoffs that we can buy from Amazon. And I'll go straight in and tell you, you can get eyelets super cheap on Amazon. Now, everyone might be saying, why are you saying that? It's because they don't split. So th there's a reason why these are what they are. The quality of these is insane, but also they don't damage your paper. So I have made the mistake of buying, and I have to say, I spent 20 pounds. Yeah, that's what they say, isn't it? Buy cheap, buy twice. Buy cheap, that's what my nana used to say. Mm. Uh, I bought thousands of eyelets, and I was like, well, I've got all the eyelets I could ever need. True, I do have all of the eyelets I could ever need. Do they work? No. Have they ruined my paper? Have they ruined my projects? Yes. And is that the truth? Yes, absolutely. But I will talk to you about why. But if I can just very quickly, Again, this is going to be one of those instances where I don't know if you're going to be able to get close enough, but if I put this on my finger and then try and keep that straight, if we can see this from the side profile, you'll see that there's at the very top kind of little nobules in it, little teeth, your little splits. Can you see them? Yep. Right at the top here. Can you see them? Now, when I put pressure onto those little pieces there, they're going to split open. And that's going to create almost like a flower shape at the back of my paper. If I use a normal eyelet, it will not, if I got the cheap ones, it will not have those split marks in the processing making of it because they're not interested in whether it splits neatly or not. Would I still have a nice looking front part of my eyelet if I used it? And let's not worry about the back. No, because it creates an oval on the front so it can, it can, warp the eyelet and we don't want that to happen so when we're buying eyelets and listen i'll be straight with you whether you buy we are or you don't buy good eyelets because it's going to ruin your project this is a tool as much as anything else and they are beautiful 
and they're so pretty in crafting, but they're also so important because they create something really, really beautiful. Look at that. We're getting a lot of interest in the eyelets. I knew we would. And in Somerset's gone for two sets. Janie and Renfrish has gone for two sets. So's Crafter. I don't know your name, but you're going for two sets. Pamela in Yorkshire wants three sets, I believe. 15% of the stock has already gone and loads more coming in. 34.99 for how many eyelets was it again? 495. 495 That's eyelets. Him. Think about how many projects that will do for you. In all the shapes and sizes and colors you could wish for, it's WHXC79. Now the big bite, half the stock has gone on the big bite. If you want to get those holes and you want to get those eyelets in further into your projects, it's the neck on the big bite that makes the difference. Should we have a look at it? Yeah. Right, so first of all, I'm gonna put this on the screen. I'm gonna ask it to go onto overhead and I'm gonna ask them oh, to pause. No, just pause on it for about 20 seconds or five seconds or something so the people at home can do a screenshot. Okay. Screenshot yourselves that. This okay. refers to a little rotating cube which uh, allows you to do different presses on different sizes of eyelet. So your 3 16th eyelet, if you're using your eyelet and washer, it shows you the combination of your cubes. Does it seem complex? Yes, so I'll tell you the easy way anyway. But that is officially what you're going to get when you get your uh, crocodile or your big bite home. You're going to get a little mini version of that in your instructions. I find it much easier when I can see the big version like that. So screenshot it and you will have it forever more. It's very, very useful to have. So with that in mind, what is it? What are we doing with it? Well, the big bite is a thing of absolute beauty. First of all, because I've got a big reach on it. Second of all, because I can do an awful lot of things with it. So. What I've got essentially is a machine that is just a pinch and, you know, it looks like something you would use with fabric a lot, it's a doesn't press. it? Yeah. Why is it so useful? Yes, it's useful for card projects. Yes, it's useful for all your crafting projects. It's also really blooming useful if your belt needs more holes in it because it cuts straight through leather like you wouldn't believe. It's also really blooming useful if your shoes have lost the eyelet in it. If you've got trainers and the eyelets come out, yep. you can just put a new eyelet in it and it's all done for that. So for household stuff, and I mean practical household stuff, it's really, really useful and I use it a lot for those. Now, this is fairly new to me. This is well, well loved and worn to me. And they do the same thing, but it's just one's got a bigger reach than the other. So if I take a large piece of card, we'll use this glitter card because Jim is giving us it. Right, now, if I go on the overhead, see if you can do it this way. Here, I've got little nobules, right? And you can see, now when I punch, it's just gonna push that cube. Can you see those going together? Yeah. Now, I don't want it to do that. I want it to punch a hole first because it's a bit useless to me. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, well, I would like that to be a bit bigger if possible. So let's do the big one. Excellent. You see? Yeah. So we scoot through those three modes. Those modes are controlled by a simple push at the, front, at the top here. This is telling me that I'm going to punch an eyelet. There is a tiny, tiny visual of an eyelet being squashed there. You can't really see it on camera because you'd have to be blooming close. And also, honestly, don't think it's hard work. <laughs> the gearing that they've done on the handle is very Oh, it's clever. really easy. Yeah, you really can do it with one hand. The second one that we're obviously go to then is the one eighth. So if I want a small hole, one eighth. One is smaller than three. If you can't remember your inches, one is smaller than three. So one is gonna be my small hole and my three sixteenth, if three is bigger than one, is gonna be the big hole. So let's do the three sixteenth. You're gonna put your paper in. If I know my paper is a certain size, I can use the ruler guide on the bottom in order to be able to help me navigate where I want my paper to sit. And this will slide and keep everything in place. I'm not worried about that right now uh, because I'm not particularly sort of wanting to do it. So if I go here, I'm gonna punch on that large place and I'm gonna go right into the middle of a sheet of paper, simple as that. <laughs> the next now, two of you to check out will be lucky. <coughs> We've only got two remaining that aren't in, boss, in, in, uh, in basket. So I hope you get it, good luck. Where I've got the hole is there. The most I can do here is that. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's the difference in reach. That's why the big bite is so useful and so important. Both of them have a different advantage. This is obviously incredible, incredibly portable. Now, once I've done that, I need to choose an eyelet to go into it. I love these big, chunky ones. They make me feel very happy. I love them. I think they're very pretty. 
So I'm just going to put in, we've got pink, so let's go with a lovely greeny turquoise to go in there. So all I'm going to do for this is pop it in to that hole, all right? So it's going to sit like that. And you get an eyelet in both the sizes of the holes that the actual big bite Yeah, is. these ones, these chunky ones are your 3 yeah. and then you're going to get your little 1 8 ones as well. So you've got a, like a good range to play with. So it's coming through here. So what we need to do is obviously punch that. Now, yes, we can go through all of those settings that I showed you on your chunky, chunky board. So this is gonna tell me that for my 3 16th eyelet, I need to use A and number one. We can see it here, A and one is my 3 16th eyelet. Yeah. That's, that's my settings. So A is the top cube and um, number one is the bottom cube. Yeah. yeah, I'll be totally honest with you. That kind of works right across the board, but I didn't tell you that. How do I get that and where do I get it? What have I done with my glasses now? Do you know? Trouble is when you're not wearing your glasses, you can't see them to find them. I know, right? So I know I've got this right. It's on the right settings, but if I want to change it, how well can you see this on the overhead? Where do you want me? Big bite oh, sold out, but we'll still give you the demo, don't this worry. This is the same anyway yep. on the other one. They both work the same. Can you see this? Push and rotate to whichever one you want it to. And they're numbered, are they? Yep. They've got little numbers on them. You can just, that says B just there. Okay, I want it to be on A because I know it's my 3 16th and it says A just there. So I can pull in, okay? So that's there. And that's just going to go through. Now, I obviously know I need to punch my eyelet. So now when I do that, those two are going to meet. Right. Really yeah. simple, right? Mm -hmm. So you think it's complicated because you see this chart and you're like, oh, oh I don't like a chart. Oh, I don't like a chart, me. I don't like to read. And I agree. I hate stuff like that. But actually, when you sit there, you go, oh, it's really easy. And then suddenly you work out you can do so many things with these. Do Eyelets and washers are brilliant. I, I can follow pictures. I'm not good with written instructions, but pictures I'm fine with. So. I'll be totally honest with you, Dave. The minute a number appears, I've lost interest. <laughs> okay. That's just a lot of numbers to me. I'm just like, ah, yeah, no, I'm not playing. I don't like numbers. Failed maths GCSE twice. I'm proud of it. Never going to be going back and doing it. I cannot understand numbers. My brain does not work in that way. I'm going to push my paper up. I Can you get to me from the side? If is that This is one of those things I would rather you all saw. So if I come in here, you see where my eyelet is? Yeah. I'm going to lift it. So the paper is not resting on the bottom. The eyelet is in that top piece. Yeah. And then I'm going to punch this down so I know I've got that in the right place. I'm going to handle it here at the bottom. So I'm triggering it and I'm just going to push. Lift. There's no pressure involved particularly. And when I turn that, it's split into the oh, most beautiful flower. Sprayed the eyelet on the back, it's locked it in place. So those little nodules that I was showing you at the very top, they splay. Now, if you get the cheap ones that don't have that splitting point, they won't do that. What you'll get is this massive split down one part. The rest of it might not split properly. It will flatten, but it won't split. And it get, it's sharp. So you can cut yourself. You It can go through your cardstock. It does all kinds of things. And... And, and I say that to my own detriment, because when I bought that massive pack and I was like, I don't need to be paying all that money for eyelets. And then it's just been such a massive waste of money and mm. such a disappointment as well. And, so, and that is perfectly flush and perfectly smooth on the back there. I can't really explain it. it. If I, hold on, let me try and do it this way, one second. So it's really dull, but it's really important. So going back to this, where we get in really close and we see that split. There is effectively eight splits, I think. I know I'm asking a lot from you guys, sorry. There's eight splits, they're tiny. They are tiny. You can't really see them very well by the naked eye. Yeah, we can. Yeah. But you see it there, so eight splits. Now, when I take this that I've just shown you. We, we went to HD for that shot. Just for that just shot. For that shot, we knew it was coming. So can you see, I've got four splits, one, two, three, four, four petals. Yep. But in between each one, I've got a tiny split. So everything is evenly distributed and everything is beautiful. And I, I, it's one of those things where you're like, why is it important? It's important because the finish is important. If it's not going to lay flat and it's not going to lay flush, it's going to affect any project I do. Imagine if you're putting eyelets into a Littley's trainers. Yeah, exactly. You really want that to be flush. You do not want to have sharp edges. Sue in Hampshire says, great camera work today, <laughs> Sue. Sorry, guys. Nice one, Dan. I have absolutely when, when I met Dan before we came on air at one today, I thought, oh, this is going to be a long afternoon for him. He was out late last night. Sorry, Dan. It's been Great a day. Work. Great work. <laughs> it's been a day of, of sort of 
sh it close shot demos. Now, you, you might be thinking, OK, well, why do I need the eyelets if the big bites sold out? Crocodile. Well, the crocodile uses the same eyelets. So you can get the similar effect. OK, you haven't got the big neck like the big bites got, but the crocodile is the handheld version of the same concept. Only available at the moment in the pink. Well, don't say only available in the pink. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. It's rose gold. Yeah. I've got the pink. It's now, rose gold. It's beautiful. And if you're wondering why we've got an empty blue box here, the reason we've got this is that um, We Are Makers were very kind in giving us the blue crocodile first, which lots of you bought, but it didn't have a case at that point. So if you've got the blue crocodile at home... Oh, that's nice. ..and you haven't got a case for it, because it didn't actually come with a case, we've got the crocodile case available, and it comes with little lilacs inside it as well. So for those of you that have got the, 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 the tool without the case, just the case on its own, $19.99, and you get eyelets in it, and we're going to give you a special price on this this afternoon as well if you've got the blue crocodile, £12.99. Now it has a home. If you find it's just sat in your craft caddy somewhere, you'd like it to have a proper case with a few extra bonus eyelets in there. There you go, Q04619. That's the blue one for the blue crocodile. But if you want the pink, this case comes with the pink crocodile in it with your eyelets and the machine. Obviously, Carla's using her blue one, but you're going to get the pink version if you order this. Uh, and this is not going to be $69.99 today. No, 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 no. And this is the machine that I know so many crafters like Carla who've had theirs for 15 years plus, and it's still going strong. It's compact, but boy, it packs a punch. $34.99 for the crocodile today, and that's GC4619 if you fancy that. I would not be without my crocodile. I, I, I don't know. It's just one of those. I, I had this before I was even a fan girl. I had this before I knew who We Are Memory Keepers was. Like I think it's one of the. I've lost my earpiece. One of the first um, crafting tools that I ever ever bought was this. Hey, look, it's here. It fell off. Wait. Um, I love the fact that I'm so professional on air. Sorry, guys. Um, so, yeah, I think... Hi, hi. It's nice to have you back in my ear again. Uh, so, yes, I think it's the first crafting tool that I ever bought, along with some embossing powders, without knowing that I would actually need a heat gun. So they didn't do anything for me at all. Um, I didn't know anything about crafting at the time. But I, I, I love it. And I bought this, actually, as a household product to put holes in leather because I'd read um, online that it was the best thing for it. And it is. I can verify that. Also, well. you can use eyelets for decorative purposes, like... The backs of oh, you can make beautiful like cards mm. with it as well. But it's it has got such practical use. It has got such a decorative. I mean, listen, that think is about a having eyelets knife. down the arm of a denim jacket. That would look fantastic, wouldn't it? Don't you think? I don't want to talk to you about outfits anymore, Dave. Why? Because <laughs> I feel really uncomfortable now. Because now I've got an image of you in the chaps with the nipple tassels, and now <laughs> <laughs> and now eyelets down your. I feel very uncomfortable, Dave. So do you feel uncomfortable? How do you think I feel? <laughs> I'm not enjoying the show anymore, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> These are so, so beautiful. They're just really, really pretty. And I think when you start to effectively work out what we can do with them as far as cards is concerned, pictures is concerned, like we can really go to town. And the thing is, this is the difference. When you look at this and you look at We Are Memory Keeper Islets compared to anybody else's, that is a joy. That is, that's we are to a T, isn't it? It's, mm. it's so pleasing. And the fact that we can use them in the same way. So the same process goes. These cubes work in the same way. We've got the same uh, or, you know, use that we have on the other ones as well. So you're going in for exactly the same format. We've got the bigger nobule there. So we're using that one. And it's the same process because we're using the same the uh, anchor says, yeah. Hi, Carl and Dave. Where can I find the chart with the settings for the eyelets you showed us a moment ago? Grab your phone, take a picture of it, Bianca. Here it is. It's coming on the screen now. There you it is. You can. You'll get this in your instructions. Oh, it comes for a start. Okay. Right. However, I am somebody who needs to work big. I, obviously, my eyesight's appalling. So I actually take a picture of this now while you can and crop it, is my advice. I'll, I'll try and get rid of any graphics. But it will come with the machine. You'll get a little one with the machine. Then, if that's not okay and you want to do what I've done, which is where you want to print it, go on to the Googlies and type in um, the crocodile cube chart. Go to images and you'll see one there and print it out. Uh, obviously, you can't sell that or distribute it, but you can use it for personal use. I printed it, I laminated it, and I keep it on my wall and it just makes life easier for me when I'm doing my settings. Now, if you want the eyelets, uh, please be quick. They're going very, very fast. Um, I haven't read, read many uh, names out this afternoon. So Hillary, Linda, John and Brenda, hello to you. Rachel, Jane, Marion, June, June, Hillary, all checked out with this. W 
HXC79. We're having one of the busiest days we've ever, ever had at Hobby Maker. Everything seems to be selling out or getting very near to it. We've sold out of, of course, the thermal cinch. That was our big offer of the day. That's gone. The Cutterby scissors have now gone. We had hundreds and hundreds of those. They've sold out. Big bite, sold out, gone. Uh, and the uh, eyelets, they're about to go the same way. So if you want the eyelets, be quick. If you've got a crocodile already, these will work with the one you've got at home. If you're buying this one, the pink one, then get these to go with it. Perfect marriage. And, uh, can you choose the different sizes of punch again, the hole? with the proper dog. Yeah, it's, it's, look at this. Look at this for a bit of fancy engineering. First of all, can we just note the fact that there's a little uh, little button here, and if I squeeze that together and push, that's gonna lock it. Oh, cool. So it doesn't take up quite so much room, which is super, super useful, and then you just squeeze and push at the other side, and that unlocks it, so right. that's super easy. Now, what's really great about the crocodile, and I love about the crocodile, and it's super, super easy to use. I've got two arms, and I've got a 3 16th, and I've got a 1 8th. Those measurements might be, not be wrong, because I only understand centimetres, but I think that's what it is. Now, this is an inch length, and I've got a little black thing here. You see it? Mm -hmm. So that's as long as I, or as deep as I need the hole. So if I only need it to be half an inch, then I make sure that is placed at half an inch there, and my paper will go down half an inch. If I want it to be three quarters of an inch, I keep going down until it's three quarters of an inch. Now this is my tiny hole there, can you see it? Yep. That's my one eighth, eight, eighth inch, three sixteenth. Got it. On either side, so two punches there. So as soon as I put this in, and let's keep where we were, so we're all on the same home sheet, go in here, See how that stops because I've got that little black wedgie there? Yep. So if I put that one there, punch a hole, and then lift it, put it there, you see? So you can be so accurate where the hole's going. Literally. So if you want to do holes in a line, you know that they're always going to be equally spaced away Isn't from the so edge. Cute? Yeah, really cool. I really, really love it. It's such a useful, useful tool. And I honestly don't know what I used to really do with that because just as a hole punch, it's great. It's just as a hole punch. Do you know what? I never thought of it for belts, but what a great idea. How many? I've got memory, memory, childhood memories of my mum or my dad trying to use like the carving fork, oh, no. trying to pierce a hole in a leather belt, and it all goes horribly wrong. Yeah. You name it. It's actually probably because obviously, like I say, I do work with leather, but it's probably the thing I use it for the most um, but I use it an awful lot when I'm journaling um, because I use it for tags uh, a lot for tags because oh, yeah. obviously where you put in the string yeah. through you want to reinforce that anything like that I use it for so it's got so many different uses and it's one of those things that I just wouldn't be without a crocodile. If, if you've got pages in a journal with a ring binder and you find that the pages easily tear because it's just basically card or paper put one of those eyelets around that as well reinforce it. <laughs> Absolutely so I've got my eyelet in same process, I've got the cube here, and I've got the little nobule, for want of a better word, yep. hanging down, and that's my little platform at the bottom. So it's this bit that's hanging down. That bit is where I'm gonna place the eyelet. I'm gonna place it over that, then I'm gonna squash. Right. I'm not putting it on this bit, because if you look at that, it's actually just a bump, and what that's gonna do is lift my eyelet away from my cardstock. So I want to house it in here. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take it there, I'm going to raise it onto that so it's above. Yeah. Can you see it's above the bottom platform? If I move my skin, there you go. And then I can simply crush. Move it away, perfectly placed. And you did it with one hand that easy? Oh, there's virtually no pressure. It's, 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 not it's the gearing system. It's very, very cleverly this geared. Is, this is a family of things that have been produced by We Are Makers. Um, that it, It's a big family. So we've got the big bite. We've got the crocodile. We've got things like, we don't have this at Hobby Maker, by the way, but we've got things like the corner chomper. So where you start going through and you look at all of these tools, the reason that these keep being made in different formats is because they're so useful, bless you, and such a good thing to have. So they keep bringing out the different formats that are more useful for us as we go through. But I will stand by the fact that I think that the crocodile, the Big Bite, are two of the most useful tool, tools you'll ever own in your house. And, and you know, going forward, you've heard from uh, Chastity as well. She's obviously the, the, the big boss at... Uh, American Crafts, the relationship we've got for the boss to be able to message into the show and say hi and uh, say how good everything is, uh, is pretty special. So we are the home for 
we are makers and American Crafts going forward, you're always going to get the best deals, the best prices, whether it's on American Crafts cardstock, whether it's on the Cropodile, whether it's on the Thermal Cinch going forward, you know that we have got that relationship, so you're going to get the best deal. So always come to us and have a little look on our website. Whenever a brand isn't on air, they will have a brand shop on our website. So whoever you're looking for products from, just go to our website, hobbymaker.co.uk, and go to the brand shop and you'll see that uh, We Are Makers will be there and American Crafts will be there. There we are, look, American Crafts. Second one down. Now, if you want to see everything on today's show that's still available, click Watch Live, and then all the items that have been featured today that are still available, look, sold out. <laughs> sold out. It's been one of them problem days, Dave. Cut to be scissors, sold out. Thermal cinch, sold out. It's been a day. American Craft cardstock, $17.99 today. It should have been a lot more than that. <laughs> it should be elsewhere. You pay $24.99 for American Craft cardstock any day of the week. We were going to do it today for $19.99. That's what it said on my sheet. Cat, our producer, who you've got to thank, has taken it to $17.99. And that's why so many of you have bought more than one pack. One PMP for the whole day. Aww. Now, Chastity as well says, this is a very special day, Dave. Thank you for all you do for American Crafts. Chastity, thank you. Thank you. It's our pleasure. Um, yeah, it is a very special day to have the best day and the most successful day the most successful hour in hobby makers history since we started back in March almost two years ago now is pretty special well it doesn't surprise me that it's happened with we are makers because I think having established themselves for years years and years as being obviously they're the, they're the crafting gods aren't they they are probably the world leader in making crafting tools. Um, I don't think there's much competition in the world for We Are Memory Keepers. And don't forget, most of these things are the invention of one engineer who sits and designs and creates most of the punch boards and Is all the, the case? things. Yeah, absolutely. Just one person. Mm. Wow. And he creates and does, and then obviously the company runs in that sense. And he's an absolute genius, of course. Um, and then the whole team, I've never, met more pleasant people. So that on its own has been a lovely experience, um, uh, but they care about crafting. They care about how crafting and they, is designed for us as a crafter. And they solve problems. They see a yeah. problem, they solve it with the tool. But really well. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, they just do it well. So when we have something, I mean, when Dave's got the, the crocodile in his hand there, this isn't some cheap piece of plastic. Oh no. This is a heavyweight duty tool for us to use. My dad, on more than one occasion, has disappeared with my crocodile to go and do, you know, stuff in his garage with because you can cut through thin wood and stuff like that with it. So he's often disappeared with it and brought it back several days later. Let me just show you the pink one because it wasn't the case and you didn't really see it. So you've seen Carly using yeah. the blue one. That's not available, but we do have it. It's exactly yeah, the same tool, but it's in pink. It does exactly the same thing. It will come with its case and it will come with a selection of islands <laughs> to get you sorted. Um, have we still got stock of the big bundle of the eyelets? We have, but it's going fast, okay? Uh, but if you want the crocodile, if that's what you're looking for, if ever maybe um, the eyelet breaks on a shoe, the eyelet breaks on maybe, or you want to punch a hole in a belt or anything like that, but of course for your tag making, for reinforcing your amazing, um, your amazing pages in your journals and that sort of thing, if they're on rings very often they can tear easily, use the eyelets to reinforce those. Uh, there's just so many uses, so many uses for it. It's a tool you'll reach for, you'll never regret owning it, and it's a tool you'll reach for again and again and again and will last you decades it really will so well made okay now we've also got what you talked about have you got the little chomper it's slightly different i think yeah i think mine's the rounded corner one i think you've got the scalloped one haven't you got it yeah let's put Oops. the show in mind if you haven't got it these are super easy to use i love the wee chompers so basically they look like little aliens they look like little <laughs> robots okay and your instinct is to use them in the same way that you have seen with the crocodile but in actual fact you know those transformers robots in disguise yes look at the things wait look oh it's so exciting now your instinct is to want to put your paper down there that is not where your paper goes it goes down the side piece here so it's going to sit in there and it's going to chomp away she says and it chomps away your edges now there is a, make sure you've got that at its widest point which i just didn't do otherwise your paper's not going to go all the way in and then once it's in we're just going to chomp Ah. See those really pretty little edges that we get there. Now that's the scallop edge or scallop corner. There's okay. one on each side as well. So you'll get different sizes. Look, can you see? Yep. 
So there's a whole family of these. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them very much. And, and now so I've gained well another one. Thanks, Lynn. <laughs> Security. Okay, not 36.99 today. This wasn't going to be in the show, but we're running out of things to show you. So 29.99, <laughs> That is your corner punch for stub and scallop decoration. Okay, BE4630, 26.99 if you want that. That's another bestseller, uh, and it's here in the show today if you'd like to order that one today. And it does make a difference when you. I really like this one. I do, because yours is different to that. Isn't I it? don't think Jimmy will know. Oh yes, he will. Jimmy may not, but the whole audience does. <laughs> they, won't, they won't tell, they'll keep a secret for me. Look, I just like playing with the things. I get really excited with pieces of paper. I want to see what this one does. Wait, I think this one's mine. Now I don't know which one's which. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? <gasps> Look at that. Look how beautifully rounded mine is. Uh, so that's mine. That's we my. You, I can't sell you that one because we don't have we it. We haven't so got that one, no. This, I know, but I can still get excited. And then this is Jimmy's. That's like a pair of lips. That one we can sell. Can Isn't that pretty? It could be a pair of lips, that couldn't it? Yeah, it's a Isn't scalloped so corner. Isn't that so beautiful? And look at the difference it makes. If that was just a, a right angle corner, you know, but give it a decorative edge like that, it just really makes all the difference. So when you're doing your mats and layers, have that corner on each of your mats and layers, and they look fantastic. And you get two, it so it. it's the same as having two stamps, essentially. So um, obviously we know how much, not stamps, What's the word I'm looking for? Punches. punches. Um, you know how expensive punches are. So you get two in one, essentially, because there's one on either side. Just don't do what I did, because when I first got this, I did because my, my brain went to where I thought it was logical. This opened. My thought process was but would, would that would just sit down there. I kept trying and trying. I was getting very cross, I won't lie, of trying to do that down that bit. And that's not where it goes. It goes down the side there right. and that's where it makes sense gotcha. and it just cuts out those little and they're beautiful great i really isn't love it? the ease of it and the fact that it matches in that it looks really nice with all of the other stuff and i'm suddenly geared up okay we've got about 15 minutes left on our afternoon now i've got in front of me more paper pads not the american crafts paper pads per se but designer paper pads supplied by American Crafts. Uh, and these are different designers, <laughs> basically. Vicky Boutin, I love that name. Love Vicky, Vicky Boutin. Stuff. Her designs are amazing. Uh, now, this is where to next, okay? Now, you've actually got here a total of 48 sheets in this 12 by 12 paper pad. Now, we're used to seeing 24, sometimes 36 sheets in, in, a, in a pad. To get 48 is pretty impressive. And it's all about travel, basically, and I love it. I mean, look here, just on this one, this one page, you've got various elements that you can cut out and they're all in the same line. So you can easily, with a trimmer, just trim those out and cut those out. That particular notepad that you've got in my, ironically, because I didn't know which ones you had today, uh, is the one I've used the most on notebooks ever, ah. historically. I've got so many notebook covers made out of those things. Kat, will you have a look on, I don't think we have, but we have a look on the website and see if we've got the... Um, it's like, a, I think it's called the cover guide and it's, sh it's a little metal, we are didgeridoo that shows you how, oh, it guides you on making covers for your journals. That, we should have had that today. Vintage maps. Look at that. Isn't I that love that. I'm a sucker for a map. I really, really am. Um, you've got beautiful palm leaves. All those tags, they could be cut out individually if you want to. And go back to the tags. Back to the tags. Because. Oh, you need pilots. What do you Eyelet need? Alert. You need eyelets, you need your big bite, you need your crocodile. Do you want a sheet? Do it. Do it, Dave, do it. Let's do the things, okay. Dave. I'll keep flicking. Oh. Now, this is great value at $24.99, but because Kat, my producer, just said that would be a fantastic price, that means that that is not going to be the price. I love this with the kind of centre, that kind of almost like an explosion. Today, you're getting a tenner off it. $14.99 for a 48-sheet paper pad with design work by Vicky Boutin. Absolutely amazing. You've got stars, you've got suns, you've got chevrons, tropical leaves. Um, you get multiples of the same design. So if you want more tags, you've got plenty more in there. What about that? It's called Where To Next? And who doesn't love the thought of travel and holidays and that sort of thing? $14.99? Not today. I never, know, I never know what cat's doing next. I never do. £12.99, £12.99, be quick. We've had a busy, busy day, one of our best days ever. Uh, we just want to thank you. 
It's not signed down. We've been busy all afternoon. Obviously, on New Year's Day, a lot of people have got more time to watch a bit of TV. Not to get inspired with what's on terrestrial channels. And you're thinking, what else is on? What else is on that I'm interested in? Um, TH4667, £12.99. It's half the price it should be virtually far a pound. But you're getting 48 sheets. And there's so much variety. That's what I love about it. It's not you know, the same theme on each page. You've got variety. You've got maps. You've got script. You've got all sorts. Tags. Clouds. You get a load of different stuff in these, but they're just so beautiful. And also, your wee little tab at the top of each page is perforated, mm -hmm. and you can tear the pages out, but you can use the tab. That's the tab. Yeah, that. You can use the tab, and it usually tells you what's coming on the next page. There you go. So you can see them, each one. Well, that shows you one of these. what's on the other side. Isn't it beautiful? So, but yep. keep them. That at the top means that on that side, you've got that pattern. Can I that just say, with these as well, so once you've got this paper pattern, you've done that. You know where it's got the hole in the middle for where it hangs on a shelf? Watch. If you take that off, do it neatly with a pair of scissors. Put a magnet on one side here. Put it onto the journal in the back between two sheets that you're making your back cover. Put another magnet on the front and use it as a cover holder for your notebooks so it can be opened and shut. So you've got little casings. So you would put two together, one on top of this one, so it's doubled up in size, and the magnet on your front cover, and you're just going to pop that in. So that's going to be glued to the back. Magnet's on the front, and that's going to be a little closure for your journals. Absolutely no waste whatsoever. OK, now, what about another one that we've got for you? Flower Child. Now, this is all about Flower Power 60s, Carnaby Street, all that sort of thing. Uh, and who's done this one? Uh, this is Jen Hatfield. Oh, I love her stuff. We do. These are like, these are famous designers. Oh, look at these, look at these. This is right up my street. Pop art, anything like that, I love. You've got some foiling in there as well. Another 48 sheet. Of, now look at that star, can you see? Printed beautifully, but you've actually got foil in there as well. Not all of the stars are foil, but some of them are. I'd put that in a frame, I love that. But it's all kind of, that, that reminds me of um, the goodies. Do you remember that? We used to love the goodies. Yeah. That kind of font reminds me of the good it's there. People in my ear are going, the what? The who? They're all so young. I know. They're all so young. OK. We're down to 12 99 We're matching the price of the last one. That is 27 pence a sheet. That's so low. For 12 by 12. I mean, look at that one. Again, you can easily, with a trimmer or a guillotine, and some foiling on there as well. It's not just printed. It's foils as well as printed. Such a low price. Can I be a real pain while you're going through that and while you're sorting the price out? Just show you this because right. I just want to show you something very, very quickly. I promise I'll be fast. So where we're using the eyelet, the, the crocodile on here, for those of you who have bought the crocodile, right, where I've got this, uh, da, 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 can you see? There's a little hole just there. Yep. And it shows me exactly what I'm cutting underneath. So I know I can get absolute precision to cut that. Then to get this, chuck it in. Then I need to go to my 3 16th. Now I'm going to need to change my cubes. I'll be super fast, Dave. I know you need to get on. It's all right. Change my cubes round. Pull this out. Make sure I've got it onto the right one. And all I need to do then is what we've done before. Oh, she says, which is get that onto that top piece. And look, because you've got so many compress. different colours in the eyelets, you've got exactly no. the right colour you need. Have I got that into the right? There we go. Onto the top nodule. Clip. Done. Brilliant. Little tags. And then I can use that to put some string through, some ribbon through, or something else for my journaling and for everything else. That is where we get with We Are Memory Keepers when everything starts to work uh, sort of symbiotically together. And it's such a lovely cohesion, isn't it? Because everything works in a really lovely way. So that one is called Flower Child. If you want that, 48 sheets, Flower Child, 12 by 12 <coughs> by Jen Hadfield. Uh, Printed and foiled, absolute luxury for £12.99. Grab it. That is an absolute steal. They all are. Now, something else that you asked for, Carla. Uh, I'm so stoked you've got this, but I'm mad as chips that we didn't have it at one o'clock. It never occurred to me that you would have it in stock. The little gadget that we're about to show you, and I haven't got one with me because I didn't realise we had them in stock. The little gadget that you're about to see makes journal covers. Oh, right. Now, you can do double covers like you're seeing on your screen there. Now, where that spine is, that's where you would be putting your glue strips. Or you can just do a single page uh, like I was doing in the previous demonstrations, using two together and then using one of your We Are spines. But it will give you perfect corners every single time absolute perfection for your book covers and it's super simple to use it will have a qr code on the back of it which will take you to a tutorial on how to use it and it literally will become your go-to guide for journal covers it's brilliant 
Okay, it is in stock. If you would like it, grab it. As you're, as you're in a book binding mood today, <laughs> in a journal making mood, $29.99. PS4680, not today. <laughs> We cat just doesn't care today. No, push the button, get it down. Okay, we've got 17 and it's 17.99. Helen in North Yorkshire straight in. Dawn in County Durham straight in. Susan in Devon as well. If you've gone for the thermal cinch and you're making your books and you want to cover them, then that's the tool that you need. 17.99. Now the show was back on the 22nd of December 2022. Now, you'll find that on YouTube, okay? You'll see it on YouTube. All the shows that have been on Hobby Makers stay on YouTube for indefinitely, basically. We've got 13 left and sudden rush. Lots of you coming through, wanting to get that Rubbish. for covering your books. 11 left now. That's going to be another it's sellout. It's really useful. And especially if you have to cover, you know when you have to cover your kids' books at school? Oof. Do you remember those days with sticky back plastic? Yeah. It's great for that. <laughs> okay, now another another um, 12 by 12 I've got for you. This has also got gold foil going through it as well. This is the Bow Bunny Brighton pad. I love this one as well. I'm choosing all my favourites at the moment. Look that's at that. That's one of the most popular. Is it? If you look at the page with the roses, the big blooms on it, there's one that's foiled and one that's not. It is stunning. And it has almost a feel of fabric to it. It's a really, look at that. Look, the mask look is gorgeous. Look at that. Look, that is amazing. Absolutely Isn't gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. You've got wonderful florals. You've got some charts and uh, oh, someone's had a. It's probably me. Ooh, Dave, no, I think it was. <laughs> someone's got their hands on it. It's probably me. Yeah, I probably pulled that out. But it looks like a compass. Really lovely. Let's carry on flicking through. Again, beautiful designs, beautiful artwork. Again, should be twenty four ninety nine today because Cat's in charge. She's being naughty, but she can afford to be. This one I don't think should go to the price, but we're going to match it, so there's no favouritism. You can get each of them for £12.99 today. And this is, this is absolute quality. Again, supplied by American Crafts, so you know the quality is going to be there. The designs are excellent. I mean, look at all those tags, too. If you treated yourself to either the, um, the Big Bite or the Cropper Dial, and you've got those eyelets as well, you've got loads of fantastic tags in here to get your teeth into, to get the eyelets into. And again, you've got some lovely uh, toppers there as well that you can jot onto or put into <laughs> your journals as well, to-do lists, that sort of thing. So that's the Bow Bunny Brighton for £12.99, delivered free of PMP if you've bought something already today, which I know thousands of you actually have. Um, now, next one. Paige Evans. Okay, now this one is a Christmassy one, okay? And I know it's only been going, you know, a few days ago, but it's going to come back as sure <laughs> as eggs are eggs. And to be honest, in craft world, Christmas is all year round, isn't it? Well, it starts officially in June, so you've only got six months, five months rest before <laughs> you're going to need this pad anyway. But also, this is the time of year to really save massively on your Christmas goodies and just get them now while they're reduced, while they're available. Well, without sounding cliche, this isn't your average Christmas. This is we are Christmas. Look exactly. how beautiful that is. Oh, could use that in an ad book. Couldn't isn't, you could, couldn't you? isn't yeah. it beautiful? Advent. There you go, 25 individual tiles on there. They're great on birthday ca uh, cards, those little numbers. Look at that. Oh, Dave, we like, could get you a jumper like that. I was just thinking that. I don't, I've got a couple of festive jumpers, not Christmas jumpers, but festive ones. Baubles, stars, Christmas trees. I mean, not all the uh, pages in here are, f are festive. That doesn't necessarily say Christmas. That certainly doesn't necessarily say Christmas, although the colours do, that doesn't. So you've got plenty in here that's all year round as well as Christmas. There's your dotties, look. And remember, if you're watching this, um, maybe this evening, uh, we're live at, what, uh, 10 to 5 now. If you're watching this, maybe on the app, I know lots of you do that, uh, watch it on, on uh, our website. Technically, um, the thermal cinch is sold out, but it's worth calling the call centre just to see if someone has changed their mind or someone's bought two and didn't want two, they only wanted one or whatever. Sometimes, you know, sometimes people change their mind. Susan in Merseyside says, what a fantastic afternoon of demos from the Mr. and Mrs. of Hobbymaker, Dave and Carla. <laughs> oh, we are, you are my husband, Dave. Uh, you're, you're my TV wife. You're just my actual husband. I put that officially on my uh, documents <laughs> the other day for the mortgage. <clears throat> just saying. <clears throat> I didn't, Dave. Awkward. <laughs> just a little bit awkward. <laughs> I've got a phone home when I come off there. I've got, I've, um, or leave home, one or the other. <laughs> now, uh, how long have we got? Oh, only about three or four minutes. Jet set. Now, oh, I did this the other day. I love this. These are stickers. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, look, 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 look. They're stickers. They just do everything in such a desirable, delicious way, don't they? They have a thing about them, AC. Now, 
actually thinking about it, if I'd have been a bit savvy, I should have given this one to you first because this is very much journal, book. Yeah. Yeah. Anything to do with travel? You have or, travel journals you could do with exactly, that. Exactly, yeah. And bearing in mind how many of you bought the Thermal Cinch today, probably you're going to be using that to make lots of uh, memory books maybe from holidays of weeks and months and years gone by. All of these are peelable and stickable in your journals. You can stick them on the front covers if you want to as well to so get a sheet of those. And then, I love this. I put that in a frame. I love it. You've got the USA. And on the reverse, you've got the world. Isn't that cool? Very, got very different. The whole world in his hand. I have. I have. <laughs> Aren't we tiny compared to everywhere else? It always um, freaks me out, that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then, <laughs> there we go. Got patterned 12 by 12s as well. We've had a good day today because Kat's swing, singing. When she's singing, you know she's happy. We've had a record breaking day today. <laughs> <laughs> We've been told we might get a certificate. Who? I don't want a certificate. Last we are getting I a certificate. A... We're getting a certificate. Last time I had a certificate, it wasn't good. <laughs> don't want another one of them. No, I don't want it laminated. But what will the certificate say? That's what worries me. I mean, I, I was given an award yesterday, oldest crafter. Oldest crafter? Mm. Well, Dave. And the winner is Dave Bradford. Yeah. Thanks. I mean, facts is facts, babe. Crafting man of the year last year, oldest crafter this year. They could have phrased it worse, though. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I haven't gone through. Sorry, I'm gassing away. Um, right, yeah, you've got your alphabet <laughs> letters there as well. Small, medium, large, and numbers. You can easily... Oh, actually, these are stickers, too. These are stickers. There we are. Well, you were yeah, like a little kid at Christmas then, Dave. I am. Well, I, I, I love the idea of kind of journaling travels. Because, you know, we've all got photographs on our phones. And maybe on film somewhere, <laughs> or on a... On a, on a what do you call them, SD card or something like that, uh, and they stay there and you don't do anything with them. Put them in journals, put them in your new fantastic um, thermal cinched journal or, or book and you can decorate it with something like this. I love that. There's 700 pieces when you consider all the stickers as well. Oh, we haven't brought the price in, have we? Okay, let's do it. That's, that's, um, that's air traffic control radar, that is. Is that, do you know that because of Concorde? Maybe. 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 Five pounds ninety-nine for that. Yeah. Come on, journalists. Put that in your basket. No, 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 no. See, that's sounded, a Christmas present for someone next year. Grab that one. I like that, that character in the Vicar of Dibley. No, 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 no. Yes. Yes. So no, 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 no. <laughs> yes. Three ninety-nine is the yes. NJ four six one seven. Vivian's in. Terry Ray in Greater London's in. Actually, Vivian's going for yeah, two. Crap. Absolutely. Why not? Why Secret not? Santa birthday presents during the year. You yourself for crafting, journaling, doing what you're doing. All those stickers. That's your multi-buy. That item right there. How many seconds? Fifty. Okay. Oh, I haven't seen. I'm showing you the crew today quickly, have I? Adam's directed today. Award-winning, busiest show of the day, or of the, of, of the history of Hobbymaker. There's Kat. Uh, thank you to Dan on camera too. He's looking a lot better than he did at one o'clock this afternoon. <laughs> Kat's here as well. Thank you, oh, Kat, Kat, Carla, sorry. And uh, thank you to you for making today so special. That's what's coming up tomorrow, okay? So treasured moments at one o'clock from Hunky Dory. Anne Marie's in the house tomorrow. Crafty Witches, lots of brand new collections, lots of fun. One until eight, we're back to normal tomorrow. Today, though, we're finishing now because we're having a bit of an early day because it's a bank holiday and they're being very nice to us and letting us go and have takeaway and a glass of Prosecco, maybe. I've got to drive home for the kids, babe. You can have one when you get home. That's true. Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you Happy for making today so special. See you soon, my love. See you soon. See you tomorrow. Bye. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobbymaker.